What's up guys good morning happy friday welcome back we is here at dca guys good morning buenos dias konnichiwa bonjour bon dia welcome guys good morning everyone <laughs> we got our coffee which is actually our second cup of coffee already We're chilling for a little bit. We're gonna be drawing, guys. Richard Schwartz is first. Welcome in, Richard. Sedi Web. Bonjour. Hello, hola, konnichiwa. Jess loves coffee. Good morning, amiga. Princess Rose, welcome in. Sedi Web says, Javier just finished drying off from the soaking he took at Grizzly. What challenges await him today? Stick around to find out. Like and sub. Thank you, said whoever. Yeah, luckily we didn't get drenched. We got wet enough where it was cold. But, uh, but luckily not drenched. Let's see. I don't think he has a little line here. Not too bad. Let's go see if we can. I don't think I've ever taken a picture with Goofy over here. Let's go see if we can uh, get a picture with him. I'm assuming he's going to this little area. guys Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get a picture with Goofy actually. For a second I thought I had left Goofini at home. I was gonna be real sad. Oh man, I can't drink coffee and Exit that way. Hold on, let me grab my coffee then. Put it on that side. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. Hi, uh, Goofy. Yeah, a little mini Goofy. Just like you. Yeah, it's a little tiny one. He's not as well dressed as you are, though. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Can we get a picture? Thank you. Love the tie. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Goofy. Let's we'll see you. Love you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I don't know. Somebody dropped their banana. stuff at this one. <laughs> it doesn't look like I'm trying to take the banana. <laughs> Here, let's uh, soak in a little ambient music, sounds. Gracias por acompañarnos. Now Megan says, I love Goofy's out. Bright, colorful, and springy. Sandy Webb says, Goofy's suit reminds me I still need to make an eye doctor appointment. That's a dapper. Richard says, Goofy is the star of this stream, right? Richard says, we tune in for Goofy first, I'm here second. <laughs> wow. I got a chance at winning, uh, what is it, supporting actor? <laughs>
go because I have the. Let me put the mic back on. You guys can't hear me. That's funny, isn't it? <laughs> We're so used to being on the mic. Um, let me see here. Sansa says, Goof, doggy dog. Roxy Magical Adventures, welcome. Jen H, good morning. Janice, happy Friday. Says, good morning, Javier Goofini and everyone. Ready for a fresh start Friday. Enjoy. I like that. Claudia Vasquez, hello. TGIF, Antonio Altamirano, welcome. Kai, good morning. Claudia Vasquez says, happy Friday, everyone in the chat. Doom Boogie, what's up, Doom? All our mods, thank you guys. We be putting uh, our mods through a lot of work. Sorry. What's up, Jose P? Says Javier. Good morning, my friend. Good morning, Jose. Uh, Ravi and Sorana. No cracks, no bricks. Audio a little bit low. Mary Moore says, good morning, everyone. Just stop by to give this wonderful channel and also to say hi. Uh, good morning. Wish everyone a blessed day. Thank you, Mary. Hope you have a great day as well. Mila Eglin, happy Friday. Not so shady, Warren. Good morning, my friend. Uh, cool drummer, welcome. Mary wants to stop by to give this wonderful channel a like. Thank you, Mary. M. Wright says, stopping in to say enjoy the day. Thank you, M. Wright. Have a great day. Ravi and Sorana says, what's up? Good. Mad2890 says, I have Celeste Maz and chat. Hope everyone has had a great week. Thank you, Matt. Welcome. Yes, hope everybody's uh, had a great week. We get to start the weekend. Well, I mean, at least I guess the traditional weekend. <laughs> Victor unboxes the world. Good morning. Maureen says, we had so much fun last night, Javier. Thank you to you and Celeste. Thank you, Maureen. <laughs> I'll tell you guys right now and in a second. Richard says, Buffini is the host, Javier is the co-host. <laughs> wow, I'm the backup dancer to Goofini. Cosmo says, good morning, Javier, everyone. Welcome in, Cosmo. I just keep getting demoted on my own channel. <laughs> Heidi D says, good morning, Javier. Hello, Maz and chat. Happy Friday. Hello, Heidi. Ravi says, it's me, your future you. Don't make your future hate you, <laughs> right? What's up, Flashy? It says, good morning, Javier. Happy Friday. We're waiting for our flight. We leave at 9.15, arrive in San Jose at 10.30. Can't wait to return to Disney. We love y'all. We love you guys. It felt super short, your visit. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, for spending some time with us. Thank you for popping in on the stream. Safe travels, my friends. Uh, Sapache 2006, welcome. Uh, everybody send positive vibes uh, to the flashies. Wish them safe travels. They're not like huge, they're not huge fans of flying. So we all know what uh, what it can be like to have to face one of your fears. So you guys are gonna do great. You're gonna have a great smooth flight, Flashies. We're gonna see, we're gonna be drawing guys this morning. We'll see how many of these we can do. My patitas hurt. Oh, so let me. So hardly slept. I think I might have slept like maybe like two hours total. For whatever reason, my sciatica was killing me yesterday. So I kept tossing and turning. And then I started dreaming like a light sleep. I, I was in a light sleep, but I kept dreaming that I was streaming. So I kept waking up thinking that I was streaming and like oh I gotta turn off the phone 
And that happened, I don't know, until like, I don't know, maybe four. So that's hence the second cup of coffee. We started, uh, we got home, we're watching, we're watching Coda Bear. Then finally we we're try, was trying to go to sleep. And because I couldn't with my, my leg, I started watching TV. And for, good morning. Uh, for whatever reason, my recommendations on YouTube were, uh, was a ninja thing. And so I was, good morning. And so I watched that first episode and then everything else on my recommendation has been a bunch of ninja stuff so I went down that rabbit hole oh they don't have the door open Margaret Carey Tinkerbell I love coming in here. But then I leave sad. <laughs> I wish I could buy the stuff in here. That frame is crooked up there. So is that one. I love this one. I wish they had that one in a postcard. This one's cool too. is nice we keep saying one of these days which is not bad it's 150 Donald Duck's boat these are 34.99 they also got stitch surfing and Cinderella Oh, these are $39.99 down here. We'll skip by the Pandora stuff. Cosmo says, I would love that Disney sign for my daughter. It's nice. And price-wise, I'm surprised that it's not more expensive. I mean, not that 150 is cheap, but. Amy S., welcome. Richard says, Figment is one of my favorite Disney characters. So underappreciated and underrepresented. Underrepresented. Cool Derma says, that was an incredible, incredible night, Don Javier. It was, it was stressful. <laughs> I'm telling you, like my eye was twitching, and my body sore, like uh, very stressful. Crayola kid, welcome. But so I've been telling people about DCA name change coming soon. Wow. That's interesting. Doom says, Flash Fram, safe travels. Glad you had an amazing time.
<laughs> Princess Rose says, I stayed up until 1 a.m. and then somehow I always wake up at 7. Doom says, end stream, still dreams, still streams in dreams. Yes. The stream dream, OMG, Javier. Uh, Doom, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Tony Interiano says, the park is so empty at this time of the day. Nice hat, Javier. Thank you, Tony. Welcome in. Warren says, Javier, you're working so hard. Pretty soon you will out Coda Coda. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Big shout out to Coda Bear. I was here closing out the park. Jose says, Javier, ninja watching. Get it? <laughs> yes, literally. Marine says, that's because you are the delicate ninja, Javier. Oh, I just saw the post. Thank you, Kai. Uh, Pasta says, great job on the hunt last night. We got Summer August with the Crazy Crew Renewal. Thank you, Summer. Thank you, thank you, guys. Uh, can we drop the tamales, the hot, hot, hot in the chat for Summer August? Good morning. Thank you for joining. Um, and so this song makes me... Oh. Uh, Jenna said, I think we, we had the same sleep pattern last night, 4 a.m. Yeah, I was mad at my alarm this morning. I was like, no, no. Marion says, yes, last night was a rough one for me, too. No wonder I didn't know what day it was. Cold Driver says, I'm having allergies this morning. I'm probably cold. It's chilly. I, I, don't, I should have brought my, my jacket. Amber Jones says, good morning, Javier. So fun last night. Welcome in, Amber. Bear bird time. Good morning. Let's see, we're just uh, trying to finish my coffee so that we can go inside. Pasta says, work never stops, even in dreams. Bear says, hey, do you ever ride the, the trolley? Um, we have. I have, I think, on the stream maybe one time. I think just one time. It's not, I don't know, I feel it's not like practical to get you somewhere because <laughs> it goes so slow. I think it's easier just to uh, film it as uh, we could probably out walk it, out ride it. All right, let's see. We are done. That was good. Cool drummer says I had diet orange soda this morning. Didn't have time for coffee. Good morning. Good morning. Wait, what time is the first one? Morning. Let's go look at the schedule. It's so quiet in here in the morning. Okay. So is the first class at nine as well or? Okay, cool. Thank you. I could have sworn it's open before that. Maybe just today. Okay, well, I guess we'll do a 
couple of rides. Let's see. Monsters is closed. Let's go do Soaring. Ten minutes. Oh, wow. <laughs> of course, today, uh, Guardians has five minutes. Wow. is that darn cactus no one could sleep because of the cactus <laughs> Marine saying your sciatica was probably hurting because you were running around like a madman and ended the night with that wet shaking spin cycle <laughs> probably Herbert says, my coffee brewing, just waiting and having some banana bread, two for breakfast. Ooh, banana bread. Sorry. Cool Dreamer says, I'm having a deja vu this morning. I think I was watching the stream last time I got an oil chain. That happens to me all the time. Megan says, we've had so much rain back here that our roads in the countries are flooded. Our Wi-Fi is back this morning. Now it looks like the sun is leaving us again to be there. Wow. As long as you guys are safe. So this is time to draw everyone. Get your papers, pens, crayons, markers, paint brushes, spray cans, etc. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to go back, guys. I'm positive that they start earlier. Cool Dreamer says, I would love to rope drop DCA one day. Says, I would go on Guardian two or three times if I rope drop. And there's nobody in line here. This is definitely the day to uh, to rope drop. Oh, Guardians just went up to 13-minute <laughs> wait. That's weird. That's usually uh, Haunted Mansion. The cars is 75. Everything else is walk-ons, five minutes. Hi, good morning. Thank you. Oh, it's warm in here. versus car, single rider, walk on, probably. Cool Drummer says, thanks for the morning stream, Don Javier. You're welcome, Cool Drummer. Thank you guys for, for joining. 
for hanging out. But like Celeste said, make sure you guys start getting your your drawing um, tools. Whether it's a pencil, pen, marker, apparently spray can will work. And something to write on. A post it. Piece of paper. Actually, a few of you guys use post its, which is a great idea. I was looking for my notebook, um, the sketch notebook that I had bought. But I couldn't find it this morning. So grab your papers, post-its, napkins, toilet paper. Whatever you'd like. The Flash says, we will miss Disneyland, but like Dorothy said to the Scarecrow, I shall miss you most. Aww. Flashies. Dave says we can do Nikki's feel her magic. That's true. Megan says that's one of the rides I wanted to see when I uh, come out there. Bear versus Wow. Even uh, Indy is only 10 minutes. <laughs> Go on, Guardians. <laughs> I'm still trying to uh, to recover from yesterday. Richard says, Smoke Jumpers. That was the place recommended. Well, Smoke Jumpers is good. Their burgers have always been good. They're the ones that had the fish and chips. That was really good. Um, I believe it's gone now. Angie uh, Ramirez says, Good morning, Javier. So nice to see everybody bright and early. Welcome in, Angie. Erica Costa says, Could we watch Amazing Spider Man today from the rooftops of Avenger Campus? That's always amazing to watch. Um, yeah, we probably could. I got to check what time uh, he comes out. And Alicia, welcome. Happy Friday. Alessandro, good morning. Wait, it says it's closed. Oh. <laughs> but I'm still showing open. Say what? Good morning. Welcome in. Santa says the tourists from other countries ever recognize you. Um, I don't know. Sometimes we don't we don't ask like sometimes I mean if we have the opportunity to talk to them for a little bit we'll ask if they're local but sometimes they just say hi and you know as they're walking by but we have fairy godmother so does that count <laughs> she recognized us
So we're in line, guys, for um, soaring. We just gotta wait for the the current flight to finish. AJ Sand, welcome in. So good morning everyone, mods. Rare entities. Hope you know, all is well with everyone. Thank you for joining. Good morning, Omar. It says good almost evening from Amsterdam. Hope you're everyone in the chat. Hope you're all having a beautiful morning. Thank you. Did. Does that count? I'm from Canada. Yes, that one counts too. Thank you, Bear Bear. Nintendo Game Dude, welcome. Good morning, Javier. TGIF, man. Pixar Fest is going to be loaded. Can't wait. Also, send you a drawing on IG. We'd like to give you a box George print. Oh, a BDX George print. Thank you, Nintendo Game Dude. Thank you, thank you. You're awesome. Welcome in, my friend. Granados, happy Friday. Blue 22 says, which rides never go down? Oh, interesting. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm trying to think, has there been a ride that I've never seen go down? I think at some point or another they all have an issue. Some of them are more more frequent than others, but <laughs> the, the carousels. Chris, welcome in. What's up, Javier? Dropping that like button right now. Thank you, Dr. Uso. Happy Friday. Thank you. 
Hello, and welcome to Soarin' Over California. My name is Patrick, and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We'll begin boarding in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. When the doors to your flight open, please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the underseat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Next, fasten your seat belts, inserting them into the buckle on your right. If smaller aviators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat, just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling. Nice work, pal. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party at the arrival gate. Okay, let's review. That is seat, seat belt, carry-on item, safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times. Anything else? Yeah, have a nice flight. Soarin' over California is now ready for immediate boarding. All passengers in gate A may now proceed to the aircraft. We will now continue our boarding process with all passengers in gate B. Thank you. <laughs> seat compartment. For your safety, remain seated with your seat belt fastened during your flight and watch your children. Bienvenidos. Favor de colocar sus efectos personales en el compartimiento debajo del asiento. Para su seguridad, permanezcan sentados con el cinturón de seguridad abrochado durante el vuelo y vigilen a los niños.
You unfasten your seatbelt. Just push down on the red button on your way. Be sure to gather all your carry-on items from the end of seat compartment and exit to your right. That was great, thing. <laughs> Thank you. Get next to you. Society Red says, good morning everyone, just in time for soaring. Welcome in. Amy S says, excited to draw soon. Yeah, it's been a, a minute since we did it. Amy says, how are you guys? We are great. Society Red says, Soren is a conundrum with me. I love the ride, but I am scared of heights. Me too. Yeah, like I say, every time I sit on the edge, every once in a while, I don't know why I look down. And I end up having to, uh, to hold on to the handles. Richard says, if only the smells would carry over YouTube for soaring, right? Yeah, my favorite is the, the orange, the citrus smell. Myra Aguirre says, I wish we could smell it right now. Welcome in, Myra. Good morning. Hello, Sally. Cosmo says, I love this red. Oh, Minnie's out now. Hey, Minnie has a long line. Richard says, by the way, Magical Candle Company carries a lot of the scent on this attraction. Oh, cool. Thank you. Good to know. Sunset says, here with the perfect video as always. Thank you, Sunset. Yeah, you want to go meet Spider Man? Gen 8 says, Soaring over California is so nostalgic for me. I love it. Remember when DCA opened when I was a kid? I grew up in San Diego, so we would try to get a Disney whenever we could afford it. Aw, that's cool, Jen. Princess Rose says, Tink. Mouse House Girl in some says, Good morning, Celeste, Javier, Mods, and Chat. Welcome in. Good morning. Victor says, how are my morning? It's kind of dull. How about we go on Guardians to make it uplifting? <laughs> how about I just send you a great big virtual hug? 
Richard says, I have a VR headset. Visiting Disney in VR is fun. Margie Martinez, good morning. Pao and Matt, welcome in. Happy Friday. Celeste says, please uh, make sure to watch our newest YouTube short. See what happens when baby ducks stop. The magic happens, furry. I feel... Uh, it's not like sprinkling, but you could feel the moisture. With the little breeze that came through, you could feel it more. Cool drummer says, Minnie has a lot of fans. She sure does. Amy, good morning. Says, happy Friday, friends. Alice in Wonderland, welcome. Daniela Ramirez, I think I said hi. Let's, we're gonna see if schedule is up, if they're almost ready for drawing. Good morning. Make sure you guys get your your pencils, pens. Make sure you guys share to Discord or to um, Instagram through DM. Let's look at the schedule really quick. Let's see what's over here. We got Mickey Mouse, Donald, Baymax, Goofy, Piglet, Hank. Oh, I've never seen Hank. It's an advanced class. So you see the, the little Mickey head? Advanced. Wally and Oswald are the last ones of the night. Hi. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, everyone. How would you like to do So we get to draw the big cheese himself, Mickey the Mouse. So we're gonna try to do these back to back guys, see how many we can do. Margie says, hi Javier, Ninja watching. Hi everyone, been busy at work. Oh, thank you Margie, we appreciate you. I hope uh, work goes uh, smoother, <laughs> smoothly. Myra says, where are we off to next? We are drawing to, ooh, Animation Academy, love it. Cool drummer says, great schedule. Bow and Matt says, Hank is good. Myra says, drawing today. Yeah, thank you everyone, thank you um, everybody that has us on. In the background, on the background, in the background. Whether you're at work, at home, Thank you guys, we appreciate you. Remember to hit that like button, guys. And also make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. are so talented they make it look so so easy 
but make sure you guys draw along and share. And don't be shy, you know this is a safe space for everyone. Doom says, blasting streaming gym. <laughs> I don't know if this is the best uh, gym music, but... Oh. That'll wake you up. for a little bit but i'll check in a little all right myra have a great day in class richard says gotta run some errands but like a good crazy i'm leaving the stream going and supporting thank you richard thank you safe travels doom says oh we're making gains with tangled <laughs> that's awesome Big letter D. 
Well, that's actually there because Mickey's ears have specific rules to them. And one rule is that his ears sit at this very specific 45 degree angle. Another rule is that his ears are half the size of his face. So if you measure out half of your circle, that's how big you want to make Mickey's ears. But if you're like, Danny, it's too early to measure things, too early to math, it's okay. Uh, you just want to make those ears very big because even if his ears are the same size as his head, uh, he'll still look like Mickey Mouse. He just might look like a baby Mickey Mouse. But if his ears are too small, he won't look like a mouse anymore. He'll look like a bear cub or a chipmunk. And we already have two troublesome chipmunks. We don't need to add a third one here. And there you go. We got Mickey Mouse. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I love it. Basically, this is Mickey, right? We call this a silhouette of a character. But what do we call it when we look for this in the parks? This is the shape. That is a Mickey, right? And we do have one here in the classroom. It is that drum set that's up there at the top. So my favorite hidden Mickey is the one that's the tallest hidden Mickey in the resort, and it's actually outside of our building. So if you go across the street, you have to go pretty far back uh, by Philhar Magic, and look at the sign that says animation. There's actually a flagpole on top of that sign, and on top of the flagpole is the hidden Mickey. That is the tallest one in the resort. Not even Guardians has one on their building. But let's start adding in facial features here for Mickey. We're going to add in his nose which is going to be a, an oval, about the size of like a large grape or an olive, right underneath your horizontal guideline here. Very nice and light still. And this is actually going to be the first thing I want to keep for my sketch. So this nose is not going to change, and it, we know it's part of Mickey's anatomy and part of his face. Uh, so this is something that when you're happy with it, you're going to go back over that nose here with dark, bold lines, uh, to really make it stand out. This is how rough sketching works. This is how we can work without erasers. Uh, because basically, the dark lines kind of do like a Jedi mind trick where it says the light lines are not the droids you are looking for. You know? And you just focus on the darker lines that we have here. And if you don't like some of the guidelines that are like going through his nose, of course, you can shade this in. Uh, because Mickey was originally created in the days of black and white cartoons. So it does have a black nose. Now over his nose, we want to add in what's called a snout line. And this is a rainbow, just over that snout, or just over his nose, to show the top edge of his snout. And it gives us a sense of depth. It makes his nose feel like it sticks out towards us in perspective here. So we want Mickey to look like he exists in a three-dimensional space, even though this is a flat 2D drawing. Now, when you think of Mickey, what kind of expression does he usually have? A happy expression, a smile, right? We're going to make him very happy. You want to be happy being Mickey, you know? He can eat all the churros he wants. He's got a girlfriend. He's got a dog. Uh, he's got six castles all over the world. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to add in his smile underneath his nose, about halfway between the nose and the bottom of your circle. It's where you want to pick your circle, which one you want to use. And my halfway point is about here. You can even do the same thing with the widest part of the oval. Imagine a line going through the widest part here, and you're going to find halfway between that and the side of your circle here. You can even play this game of connect the dots like I just did. So I placed in those two points, and I'm going to connect together to the one in the middle here and create this nice big smile for Mickey. He has a very, very big smile. He comes from the days of rubber hose animation. Basically, in the 1920s, uh, animation was basically in its infancy. They were still experimenting with what they could do with drawings. Uh, and so these characters were less about realism and more about the animators having fun and experimenting with them. So there was a lot of exaggeration that happened. They treated these characters as if they were made out of pure rubber. And one way we can exaggerate the smile for Mickey is adding what we call smile lines. Just these two rainbows that shows that his smile is so big it's pushing up his cheeks here. Another way to exaggerate the smile too is by opening it up and giving him what we call a laughing smile. So I'm going to pull down another letter U shape and you can bring this to around the bottom of your circle. If you need more space you can bring it outside of your circle there too. Just be aware if you bring it down too far, it might look less like he's laughing and more like he's yelling. 
maybe make you want to roll a coaster or you can. On the inside of uh, his mouth, though, now that it's open, we're going to see his tongue. And his tongue are two rainbows that overlap in the center. They look like two little halo shapes there. Now, we don't usually see teeth on Mickey unless he was smiling even wider than this or if he was eating something, or if he was uh, mad, you know, we, though we rarely see Mickey mad at anything, really. So I added this shade in that space above the tongue. Now we're gonna add in his lower lip. Since his smile is pushing that lower lip down, it's gonna go, of course, down outside of the circle. And that's by adding in another letter U shape. You're just gonna attach it to the circle. It's not gonna con connect back up to the smile, of course. This is gonna be right underneath. The last things we're going to add in before we take our break are Mickey's cheeks. So finishing off the lower half of his face, his cheeks being pushed up and out by the smile. I'm adding this rainbow here. And I'm bringing it to the side of my circle. And I'm going to follow the curve of my circle all the way back down to his lower lips. So it should look like he sketched out this like stretched out candy cane. You can think of it as like uh, a letter J on its side, or this hook shape here, maybe half of a heart. But these cheeks, they're very chubby on Mickey nowadays uh, to make him look very youthful, you know, keep him looking young because he is a very old mouse. He came out uh, in the 1920s in the cartoon Steamboat Willie. And uh, so that cartoon debuted about 95 years ago, a little over 95 years now. He'll be 96 later in November this year. And that cartoon is considered Mickey's birthday when it debuted, of course, but it was not the first cartoon uh, Mickey was ever animated in. Actually, Walt Disney had made two cartoons previous uh, to Steamboat Willie, but he didn't put them out because he wanted to try something new that was showing up in Hollywood and that made Steamboat Willie very famous. Anyone want to guess at what that very specific thing is? stop motion, uh, think of something that you hear. Sound, yeah. Sound is was new. They've never had sound with cartoons before. Steamboat Willie was the first cartoon to ever have synchronized sound. Uh, so this was a time where silent films were starting to fade away because they were, were learning how to synchronize uh, film to sound that they were pre-recorded instead of having someone in the theater with you playing the music uh, and kind of making it up on the fly. Like, Bless you. Hope I'm allergic to mice because they're everywhere, you know, running around in shorts and, and yellow shoes. But we're about halfway done with Nikki. How are you guys hanging in there? Now for Mickey, the next thing we want to add in is his eyes. This is something that's changed a lot about Mickey throughout the years. He's had many different styles of eyes. His eyes used to be solid black back in the 1920s. Actually, this is the original Mickey. Look at him. No shoes, no gloves. Uh, he's got a really long tail. Uh, but they've changed him a lot. Like when he was in Fantasia, now he has pupils in this. And there are so many different styles of Mickey, too. Like we have uh, this one here where they have the solid black eyes again. And that style, there's a lot of different Mickeys. Like, look at these guys. Even this Mickey compared to the one in the 1950s and 1940s, they are so different from one another. And that's what I love about him is that you can draw him many different ways in your own style, but it still looks like Mickey, right? The main thing about his eyes is that they are tall ovals. That is something that stayed consistent uh, with this mouse. Uh, so I'm going to add in this very tall oval, but the bottom part of my oval is cut off by the snout. Think of this as like you've got a surfboard sitting in a hill of sand. So that will give us more of that perspective as well. Now, this is where you want to choose which Mickey you would like. You want a classic Mickey, you want the classic steamboat style, you can shape him in solid black. Uh, you can give him what's known as a pie eye, bring out the book again, where it's got this little 
little letter V cut out from the side there. You can do that as well. Uh, if you want to give them pupils like he had in the Sorcerer's Apprentice, you could do that too, or, or you could change the shape. You want to draw in hearts, you want to draw stars, churros in his eyes, up to you. Maybe your style of Mickey will become the new one that we see on the screen. You never know. But we're going to draw in, well, whichever you like. Anything that you've drawn in Mickey's eyes, so if you've changed the shape or if you've gone with the classic solid black eyes, just make sure that this is the darkest part of your sketch. Because this is where we connect with a character. Because with the eyes is where we connect with each other, too. That's why uh, we usually make eye contact when you want to you know, connect with someone. So that way we have the eyes nice and dark. Now something that hasn't changed uh, with Mickey is what's called a character mask. It's that letter M that frames up his eyes here. And that's going to start at the top with this curvy letter V. So it kind of looks like a little stick figure bird. And we're going to stretch this out towards the side. I'm going to follow the circle for a little bit until I get right above the cheek where the open end of the cheek is. And I'm going to connect it back down. This character mask back in the days when Mickey's eyes were solid black, it proved as a frame so his eyes didn't get lost because they only had the two colors to work with, black and white. And so to make sure you could see the black features like his nose and his eyes, you had to make a white space around it. So this was that white space. Of course, later on, uh, it became like a tan color. And now it's kind of gone back to the classic look for Mickey. I'm going to add in, or darken in, what's left of my circle here, and lock in the ears as well. Now, if you'd like to add an accessory for Mickey, the last rule for those ears is adding in the accessory in front of the ears. So if you want to give him a hat, you want to give him a steamboat hat, or maybe a sorcerer hat, or a different hat, uh, you want to do that before you put down uh, the dark lines for the ears. Now, for Mickey, not only has his looks changed throughout the years, but his voices have changed too. Uh, his voice pretty much stays consistent, but his voice actors uh, have not, of course, because uh, he's been around for quite a while. Uh, he's had about seven or eight different voice actors throughout the years, but of course the original, does anyone know who originally played Mickey? Walt. Walt. Yeah, Walt Disney himself, the big cheese, if you will. And Walt Disney was very particular about how he wanted this mouse to sound. But when he had actors come in, he asked them, give me your best mouse voice. And they gave him what they thought a mouse should sound like. Uh, but he didn't quite agree. It's not what this mouse should have sounded like to him. He knew exactly what he wanted uh, Mickey to sound like. So one of his animators, after getting fed up with Walt denying uh, all these different voice actors and turning them down, he said, why don't you just do it yourself? So Walt Disney was the first voice of Mickey, and he did that for, uh, I'm going to say about ten, not even 10 years, a couple years. He, he did it for a little while uh, before he started getting busy with other projects, of course, you know, like Disneyland and, and Disney World and things like that, and other movies. But uh, voice actors that have come after Walt, uh, my favorite one is Brett Iwin. He is the current voice of Mickey, and he said in an interview that everyone who's played Mickey after Walt is basically doing an impression of Walt doing the Mickey Mouse voice. Uh, so Walt will always live with his character in some way or form. That is everything that you need for your own sketch of Mickey Mouse. Anything else you want to add is up to you. But the final step is finding your good spot somewhere next to your sketch. Wow, I need my coffee again. And sign your name there. All right. We're finishing up our drawings. Did you guys have fun? Yes. Excellent. I want to see your sketches now. It's tradition here to have what's called an art show. So we get to see how different everyone's thinkings are. So on the count of three, even if you're still drawing, that's okay. Let's see a work in progress. Turn your boards around, right? One, two, three. Let's see Mickey. Whoa, look at these. Look at those nice big smiles. I love your sorcerer, Mickey. That looks great with the classic eyes, too. Very nice job. Excellent proportions here. Look at those nice big smiles. Oh, we made it as Minnie instead. <laughs> all right. I mean, the two mics are very similar. You guys all did amazing with these. Give yourselves a big round of applause. You passed the animation academy. Great job. Now, these drawings are yours to keep and take home with you as souvenirs. So go ahead and take them off your board. I want to give my
mine too. The buddy art is down there in the front. You had a lot of fun coming to mine here, Seth. You can take mine with you too. You're welcome. I'm going to leave you here with Thomas. He's going to help you on out. If we don't see you again, it's going to look like a great rest of your day. Your class is dismissed. Come on, a great big round of applause for Danny, your amazing artist. Well, thank you all for joining us here at the Animation Academy. The doors on your left, the same three doors that you entered through, are now open for you to exit through. And please exit only through those three doors. When you stand up, do us a big favor. Please put the drawing board back up against the back of the seat. Please put the pencil right back in that spring, just the way you found it when you came in. Gather up all of your personal belongings. Take a good look around. Make sure you get your backpack, your hat, your glasses, and your drawings. Those are your sticky Keep those drawings if you like, and if you don't want to keep your drawing there, just fold it in half and drop it into the recycling bin that's located at the bottom of the ramp as you exit. Now, while you're doing the animation building, All right, guys, we're gonna do the next one. So make sure you guys share your drawing on uh, on Discord. The next one is supposed to be Donald, right? Right, is that going to take Donald Duck. What's up, kick ponds? Uh, let's see, we'll be at the parks. Perfect, kick ponds. We'll be here uh, this evening. Thank you. And happy birthday to uh, Maximiliano. Kick ponds says hello, everyone. Good morning. Doom says, me already messing up. Me too. Making Memories says, Kibble Champ. Good morning, everyone. Welcome in, Making Memories. Mouse House Girl says, mm, I think I'm going to make some chorizo con beans and rice. Right now. Wow, that sounds good. Pasa says, be sure to share your masterpiece on Wonderland, our Discord server. Aloha, Danica. Welcome. Uh, Wolfensteinberg girl, welcome. I don't remember seeing this one. Brian Hernsberger, welcome. Happy Friday. Tina, good morning. If you guys do this often here at the park, I suggest you get a, a sketch pad. Something that's a little bit easier to handle. I mean, unless you like these sheets. Small World Life, welcome. Since the morning, we'll be sorrow. Watching, I'm packing. Leave letter today. All right, Small World Life, thank you. Safe travels. We're excited to see you. Uh, Lenny Federal says, Buenos dias, Javier. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, my friend. Welcome. Janine Rodriguez, good morning. Andrew Lopez, welcome. Danielito, happy Friday. Disney fan, 1955. Hello, welcome. Tim. 
Fierro says, good morning from Texas. Welcome in. Shout out to Texas. Disney fan says, how are things going at DCA? By the way, I remember when it was a parking lot. It's going good. They started putting up uh, the court. Well, we've showed it, so I'm not sure if you've seen it. But they got banners up for Pixar Fest that's coming up. So it's looking good. So that artist, Danny, that we got, um, she drew Donald. And um, I was able to get a copy. So you can ask either the, the artist or sometimes the, the other artist that's helping. Uh, you can ask them for the, their drawings if they're available. Like today, you saw uh, Danny gave it to one of the the young kids in there. So you can always ask to see if, if they're available. Amanda D, welcome. Says, I have your happy Friday. Thanks for bringing us along. Thank you guys for joining. Happy Friday. What's up, Compa Christian? Welcome. AMG, so is it raining? It wasn't, but there was like a I don't want to say drizzle, but there's a little bit of moisture falling. Um, unless it started raining when I'm in here. But welcome in, AMG. Oh, question. Could you guys hear the, the artist okay with the mic? I forgot. I usually take off the... I disconnect the mics, but I forgot this time. Bye for now. Have a magical day. Thank you, Disney fan. I hope you have a wonderful day as well. Liz Rubio, welcome in. Good morning. Kane's Dolphins, good morning. Gompa Christian, we're excited to see you too. Padawan uh, Sadi says, good morning from Mexico City. Watching while working, wishing I was there, as usual. Uh, welcome in, Padawan. Padawan. Greetings to Mexico City. Saludos. Y 
y gracias a todos los que nos están escuchando en la comunidad de habla hispana, gracias. Matt says, I could hear them perfectly, perfect. Heidi says, I love hearing all the sounds in here. Yeah, this is a nice area to just come in and sit down, especially right now. When it's hot, it's nice to come in and cool down, but it gets super packed. There you go, Marie. Lenny says, Javier, did you get any sleep last night? <laughs> uh, not really. Eh? Probably like about a couple hours. I was mentioning uh, earlier that like my sciatica was really acting up, so I was having a hard time sleeping. And then when I would doze off, I was uh, dreaming that I was screaming. Pero Juan dice, saludos. Marcos says, with how empty it is, I can probably take a nice little... Uh, Nap there. Circle on top than you do at the bottom. 
And there you go, that's Donald Duck. <laughs> okay. Let's start adding in his uh, duck bill. We're gonna work on the lower half of his face first. Uh, so I'm adding in this stretched out rainbow that goes right up against the bottom of my circle, even cuts into a little bit here. I'm gonna make this about as wide as the widest part of my circle. He drew an invisible. Make it wider, that's okay too. You just don't want to make it smaller than that. Otherwise, you get Huey, Huey, and Louie. We're going to go up towards the horizontal guideline where the eye line is. And I'm going to add in what looks like this letter J. So it's a letter J on the side. It does have a space between that letter J and uh, that rainbow that you added in. And then the, the other side will be a backwards letter J because, of course, one side's going to mirror the other. Now we're going to take the open end where that gap is and connect it together with this parentheses. So to close it off, you should end up with something that looks like a bent out wire coat hanger or that weird tool that IKEA gives you that no one knows how to use. Now it's okay if your duck bill is looking a little wonky at this point. I never get it even on either side here. Uh, I always go back and kind of adjust it. It's where you really want to look at, at the whole drawing because sometimes we focus in a little too hard there. Uh, so you want to lean back from your drawing just a little bit. But once you've adjusted it the way that you like, you want to go back over the lines with darker lines once you're happy with it. If you're not, just leave it alone. And you can always go back and fix it uh, a little bit later or as we go here. But notice now I'm making the duck bill, or at least our bent out wire coat hanger here, look very dark compared to the guidelines that I started with. This is what we call locking in our lines or locking down our shape. And this is to tell the audience this is what we want them to look at. You're emphasizing only the things you want people to look at. So if you don't want them to look at it, just leave it nice and white. Now we want to add in what we call a depth line. We're going to add in the top edge of Donald's bill, which is just going to be another rainbow that goes right over that long rainbow. This will just be a little bit shorter. We don't want to connect it to these corners here, because if you do that, it'll look like a separate piece of his bill. And I did say that Donald is the original Angry Bird, but we're going to draw him with a smile because he has a lot to be happy about after all. Uh, so his smile, his cheeks are going to sit right on top of those letter J's that we had there. So we'll just add two little rainbows here. Donald has a lot to be happy about, you know? You know, he's got a girlfriend, he's in a relationship, <laughs> must be nice. Daisy's pretty awesome. Daisy is pretty awesome. I love Daisy. She's so sassy, and she has to be to deal with Donald, you know? <laughs> Uh, but he has also got a really rich uncle, too. Yeah. I mean, Uncle Scrooge doesn't quite give him much, but he, if he needed it, I'm sure Uncle Scrooge would be nice enough to like maybe consider it. Uh, but the smile lines there are showing that his smile is pushing up his cheeks, and his cheeks sit pretty close to the smile lines. So I'm adding in another rainbow. But this second rainbow that's over the smile lines, I'm going to extend it out just a little bit, and I'm going to pull it back into the indent of the duck. So it should look like you sketched out like a coffee cup handle or like a bent out question mark here. The part that's pulling into the bill though, this is what's attached to his lower duck bill. It's attached to uh, the bottom part of his mouth. So we're actually going to extend them through. We're just going to lightly extend them down as if they were getting closer and closer together the further you move down. But we don't want to bring it to a point because then he'd look like a lizard. Uh, we're going to round out that bottom part of his bill uh, with a stretched out letter U shape instead. So you've created it in, like this little bowl shape for his duck bill. We'll also draw in the inner lining of his bill or his lip uh, by adding in that same shape that you made there on the outside. So I'm just drawing it again here on the inside. So it's parallel to the outside shape. This is what's called following your study line, where you're studying the line you already made following it in a different spot. Now we want to go back and lock in only what's poking out underneath the duck bill. The reason that I had you connect it to uh, the smile lines of the cheek was because that's where those things line up and this way you don't have to randomly guess. It's, it's basically like an artist's x-ray vision if you will. So you now all have superpowers. <laughs> And we also want to keep his duck bill nice and rounded. Remember I said we don't want to bring it to a point in any part of it. Uh, 
because what kind of characters are very sharp and pointy? Villains. Villains, right? And Donald's not a villain, he just has a temper. But uh, that temper tends to show through in mostly his words that not a lot of people can understand. Uh, his tongue is the only sharp point on him, literally and figuratively. So it's a little letter V shape at the top of his mouth. Donald Duck's voice is one of the hardest things for voice actors to replicate. Uh, Mickey Mouse has had about six or seven, seven or eight, somewhere around there, different voice actors throughout his 95 years. But Donald Duck has only had two. And Donald is turning 90 this year. Well, so he's about five years younger than Mickey. He's only had two voice actors. His original voice actor was a man uh, named Clarence Nash. And Clarence Nash, Walt Disney discovered him on the radio uh, making animal noises for a show. And he was like, I love this guy's duck voice. Let's get him. Uh, he did the duck voice so well that they nicknamed, nicknamed him Ducky. Yeah, so he's Clarence Ducky Nash. And he trained his uh, successor, a man named Tony Anselmo, who is the current voice of Donald Duck, and an animator, too. Uh, so only those two people have ever played this duck officially. Uh, but what we love about Donald Duck is how his temper is, right? The only thing I can replicate for the voice of Donald is the little, <laughs> you know, when he kind of just loses all control with his words there. And it's his eyes that really show us all that emotion in it, because his words, we don't really understand it, right? But we see it all in his eyes. And those eyes are super nice and big to convey that. That's why really, really people love Donald Duck. Uh, so let's add in those big, expressive eyes of his. His eyes are going to be nice, tall ovals. I'm going to lightly sketch this in, just to place them in up against the cheeks here. He's going to look like he's seen some things for a minute, like he's seen some ghosts, you know, <laughs> a haunted house that him and Mickey and Goofy go into for a job. But we want uh, to close off the top part of his bill here. His bill is a hard surface versus the rest of them that has that, uh, you know, the softer feathers. So in between those two ovals that we lightly placed in, I'm adding in another rainbow. So this is the bridge of his duck bill or the bridge of his nose, like ours. And then you're going to create these little pockets for the eyes to sit in. Uh, so create in these letter U shapes. I'm going to follow the bottom curve of those ovals. And then we're going to connect and make those ovals fit into those spaces a little bit better now that we have them there. Uh, so we're going to go back and lock in Donald's eyes. Donald's eyes were so large and expressive, and he was such a fun character for the animators to work with back then, uh, that theaters, they would request more Donald Duck cartoons than Mickey Mouse cartoons. Donald Duck has been in more cartoons, movies, and shorts uh, than any other cartoon character in history. And at one point, he was, of course, outshining Mickey, and Walt Disney actually got a little nervous about that. He went ahead and uh, put Mickey in a film called Fantasia, uh, where he updated his look to be just as expressive as Donald to get his popularity back. But who can, who can really, like, you know, not love this angry little duck here. His eyes, his pupils, are up to you. Whatever shape you want to put in there. The classic ones are these ovals, of course. But you can put hearts, like he sees daisies. Or dollar signs, like Uncle Scrooge finally gave him like a nickel inheritance. Maybe you want to put churros in there, <laughs> anything that you like. But I'm going to make sure, whatever shape that's been drawn in Donald's eyes, you want to make sure that this is the darkest part of your sketch. Because remember how important I was saying those eyes are uh, for conveying his emotions. This is where we connect with a character, because this is where we connect with each other, too, through eye contact. Now, what's something that can help with the expressions of the eyes? Yeah, your eyebrows. So for Donald's eyebrows, uh, since he is super happy in our sketch, his eyebrows are just going to go up and over two rainbows here that you're just going to follow that same curve of the top of the eye. Now, he is a duck, so ducks have feathers all over them, and he has got a couple places where these feathers show up. Right over his cheeks, these feathers bunch up because he's smiling, because they're being pushed up by the smile. And we just group them together with a simple line that points back towards the eyes. He also has three feathers on top of his head. 
which look like these three little shark fins here. But if you want your doll to look a little bit more flustered, maybe you just rolled out of bed, you can always add more feathers too. Now Donald's got a very extensive family. He's got three nephews, an uncle. Uh, he also has a twin sister. Because you know? where did those nephews come from? Of course, Donald's twin sister. Does anyone know what her name is? Ah. Her name is Della Duck. And uh, she was seen more in the comic books made by Karl Barth uh, before the DuckTales series rebooted itself in uh, 2017, around there, yeah. It's like the last couple of years, I can't keep the timeline straight anymore. <laughs> uh, but she showed up more in that, so if you want to know more about Donald and his family, I definitely recommend uh, watching that show, because it's super, super, uh, it's more connected to the comic books than it was the original DuckTales was. We got Donald here. We got, the we got basically Donald, right? But he usually wears accessories. What's he usually wearing? Hat. A hat. What kind of hat? A sailor's hat. And this sailor's hat, it sits kind of at an angle. Think of like a beret. Uh, and that's going to start off with a line just above his eyebrow here on the right side, and I'll bring it over with a rainbow to the left eyebrow. So that's going to be the band of the hat. We want to draw in the big pillow that's on top, and don't worry about making this exact because Donald often uses this as a stress ball, you know, when he's feeling a little bit on the frustrated side, so it might look a little crumpled, that's okay. He uses it a lot to kind of try and control his anger. But I'm going to add in what looks like this big backwards letter C that slopes down here on this left side. It's kind of looking more like a hook shape, like Maui's hook. You're welcome. The back end of it, I'm adding in this letter C curve, this forwards letter C, and it's smaller than the other side, so it looks like it has this little crease here in the center. This hat has a very specific name to it. It's not just any ordinary sailor hat. Uh, this sailor suit is actually called a fauntleroy. And that's the type of sailor suit Donald wears. Uh, but that's also Donald Duck's middle name. He is Donald Fauntleroy Duck. Yep. I don't know where they came up with these names, but there it is. Uh, this hat also has a little ribbon that hangs off the back of it here. So by this little ribbon, this little tassel, just adding in these two parentheses here and connecting them with a rainbow. And that is all you need for your own sketch of Donald Duck, the duck who gets stuck with all the bad luck. Anything else you want to add is extra credit. You can add in some shading to the back of the hat, to the tassel, to the inside of the duck bill. Maybe you want to add in his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, or his bandmates, you know, uh, Panchita uh, and Jose Carioca. But find a good spot somewhere next to your sketch once you're all done and sign your name. All right, we are finishing up our sketches now. Did you guys have mine? Yeah. Yep. Excellent. I want to see your sketches. It's tradition here to have what's called a card show. But we got some eager ducks out there, so on the count of three, turn around, all right? One, two, three, let's see Donald. He's looking great. He's so fantastic. Look at those nice, big, happy smiles on. You guys really nailed it. I love the hearts in his eyes. A couple of them out there. Very nice job with these. Look at those big expressive eyes. Excellent job. Little baby dogs over here. I love it. You guys did so good. This is not an easy character, and you guys really nailed it. Give yourselves a big round of applause. You passed the Animation Academy. Great job. Now, these drawings are yours to keep and take home with you as souvenirs, so go ahead and take them off your board. I'm going to leave you here with Thomas. He's going to help you on out. If we don't get to see you again, we hope you have a great rest of your day and get class dismissed. How about the great big round of applause for your amazing artist, Danny, everybody? Yay. Well, thank you all for joining us here at the Animation Academy. The doors on your left, the same three doors that you entered through, are now open for you to exit through as well. Please exit only through those same three doors. When you stand up to a patient, please put the drawing board back up against the back of the seat and just pop the pencil right back into that spring the way you found it when you came in. Gather up all of your personal belongings, backpack, hat, glasses, and of course your drawings. Take those drawings with you. And keep them if you like. And if you don't want to keep your drawings, that's okay. Just fold them in half 
and then drop them into the recycling bin that's located at the bottom of the ground. While you're in the building, go take a stroll across our courtyard and talk to Crush the Turtle from Finding Nemo. Let me see, guys. On the other side of Turtle Talk. He would love to talk to you. Also, if you head across the street and you exit the building, you can see an awesome 3D movie film. You can still imagine. I highly recommend that. Right now, though, you gotta clear the classroom. Gotta tidy the place I up. I didn't see him. Ready for the next they class, have which we this will back be here. Drawing a character of the Big Hero Six. Let me, let me ask. Danny, is your drawing available? No, you can have it. Thank you. I love Donald, my favorite. He's my favorite too. I yeah. love him. <laughs> Thank you. And it, what city? Honolulu. Oh, Honolulu. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Guys, can we drop a cast compliment? Danny, it's D A N I. And city is Honolulu. Alright, we're gonna take. Well, let me see who's next. I was gonna take a quick little break so I can show you guys and share and yeah, it's starting to get more crowded too let's see who's the next though ah, baymax we're gonna skip uh baymax guys we're gonna come back for goofy goofy will be the one after that way i can show you guys and let me see if i can get a rubber band That's what I, you read my mind. <laughs> Only the good part. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a great day. Hey, you too. Thank you. What? All right. Uh, hope you guys have been dropping. I, I have been seeing some stuff come through. So let's stop. We'll stop over here. So we were able to get the the sketch from the artist Danny. That's cool. Let me put this over here. they have Dumbo. He's a cutie. Um, I can double check. Uh, let's see here, guys. Again, welcome in, everyone. Thank you for joining. Thank you for hanging out. We, we are going to continue drawing. Uh, I just want to make sure I don't fall too far behind on, on showing the um, your guys' drawings. Let's see where we at. Uh, oh, I went too far back. Angie LA says, good morning, Javier Mods and Crazies. Are we in line for drawing? Uh, we were. We're going to go back to it, though. Marion said, oh, little Dumbo. Hatbox goes. Wel <laughs> Welcome says, keep waking up to those a113 nightmares. You guys are funny. Kai says, Javier, they didn't get any sleep. The cactus was poking them in the back. It was poking my leg, my sciatica. Sweet Adrian, good morning. Said, and they said, oh yeah, Donald is the best. Let's see here. Marco says, I'll join later, have to work. Hey, all right, Marco, have a great day. Flashy says, watching stream from plane, smooth flight so far. Yay, I'm so happy, Flashy. Uh, let me see. 
Eileen Casimiro, welcome in. Gigliatis, good morning. Um, Brian, oh, that's not for me. Doom says, artists, make sure to share your work in Discord. We'd love to see it. Anna MB, happy Friday. Just stopping by to say hi. I have a lot of parties set up for my little birthday party tomorrow. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you, Anna. You go and handle that. Uh, Elastic Girl, good morning. Let me see. We got Aloha Danica. Cool drummer says, I'm having churros this morning. I heated them and added the cinnamon. <laughs> nice. Uh, churros for breakfast. You can't beat that. Marie says, Donald was hard. Cannot capture the true Donaldo sass. Uh, I'm not happy with my Mickey. Thank you, Azaywap, for dropping uh, Danny's uh, cast compliment info. John E., good morning. Welcome. Love Pugs. Happy Friday. Celeste says, Gus Gus. Wait, is there a Gus Gus? I'll check and see. Drummer says, wow, it's brilliant. Ariana says, good morning, OMG. Hi there. I need your energy after all those steps last night at the parks. I'm not sure how you do it. I'm not sure how I do it either. Today today was a little bit tougher. Uh, Roberto Love, welcome. Says, loving the hat, Javier. Thank you. Sandra, oh, that's not for me. Lenny says, I sure like your new hat. Thank you. Me too. It's like one of the best hats. I've been really happy with it. And he says, hello, have a nice hat. Thank you, guys. Pickwick goes, welcome in, my friend. Good to see you in here. Hope you are doing well. GBA says, hi, what city? Or where is everyone from? This is cool. Welcome in, GBA. We, I'm originally from LA. Well, I grew up, no, I was born in Chicago, but I've grown up in LA. Brie Monica, welcome. Says, how are you recovering from the cold? The cold wasn't that bad. I'm used to the cold. It was the, the restlessness last night. All right, let me see. Let's look at some of these drawings. Oh, wow, this is cool. All right, let me, uh, how about let me bring this over here. So I can show it. So we got, this is Princess Rose. That's super cute. Good job. Hold on, let me, like, seven out of seven, for sure. Oh, pues. Why is it not registering my finger? Got Marine. Mickey with the spoon. <laughs> Love it. That's awesome, Marine. Even got extra credit with the little hearts. Super cute. Good job. Seven out of seven. We got Matt in color. I like the heart eyes. That's super cute. Good job. That's awesome. All right, let me see if there's any on Instagram for Mickey before we go into Donald's. share 
All right, let me start with the... Donald, let's show Donald, guys. We got Donald from uh, Analicia. That's cute. I like it. Is that in pen? You know, kudos to you guys that are brave enough to, to try this in pen. I know even though with the pencil you can't erase it, but I feel like with pen it's, it's harder. Good job, Analicia. Let me see. We got Princess Rose. <laughs> Princess Rose says, how Javier sees Celeste. Oh, You captured it perfectly. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. Whoa. Oh, that one. Let me like this. We got Marine with Donaldo. That's cute. I like that. Huh? Always with the spoons as well. Good job, Marine. We got Matt in color again. I like that. That's awesome, Matt. Thank you. You guys going all out with extra credit, going in color. <laughs> doom. This is Doom. Hard at work right there, focusing. We got JT. Mr. Trade says, Mr. Hobby, working in ink is more brave. It's, it's just more committed, right? That's awesome. And then we got the Donald over here. That looks really good. I dare I say that it, <laughs> well, I won't say it in case <laughs> they watch. That's awesome. All right, guys, feel free to, to share. We are going to continue doing, uh, doing more drawings, but let me show you, let me show you mine. So put this one aside. Gen H says, Wow, everyone's drawings are so good, right? Tim says, Pure confidence. Everybody, excellent drawing. Courtney B. Welcome. Says, Hi, lovelies. How's everyone doing today? We are great. Thank you for joining. Richard says, okay, I'm back. We can resume the magic. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Myra says, I'm in between classes, so I can watch the stream for a little. Yay, Myra. Uh, Betty says, hey, Javi, uh, you are going hard on Disney. Can we please watch Talking with Crush? Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll try to do it. Let me see who's after Goofy. Because the next one is going to be Goofy at 1030. I want to make sure we draw that one. <laughs> Ravi, I remember Curious George. Immersion Love says, hi everyone, my three and a half year old daughter just asked why you are called Javier. <laughs> I don't know, that's just, my mama gave me that name. <laughs> Immersion. Let her know it's Javier is given to, to wise people. That's the name that they are given. 
Heidi D says, so, uh, so good, everyone. Maureen says, all oh, the Mickeys. Jess says, great drawing, everyone. Uh, let's see here. Maureen says, cute. Doom says, boss moves. Flashy says, we are descending. We will be landing in about 15 minutes. Thank you for your prayer. Yay, Flashies. Let us know once you uh, touch down and are back on land. Blazer says, nice. Doom says, Technicolor. Uh, Marine says, Goofy at 1030. OMG, the ears will be epic. <laughs> yes. So let me show you. Here's my Mickey. That's mine. Mickey the Mouse. I think I like my Donald more than Mickey. Here's my Donald. Donald the Duck. And again, let me show you the what it should look like, <laughs> according to the artist Danny. This is a this is the artist's sketch. I think they use different pencils. I'm not <laughs> I always trip out how when they when they lock it in and they use the line the dark lines. How it almost makes it seem like in one pass they get like that thick line. My locking it in doesn't look the same. But yeah, that's that's our, our drawings right there. Oh we got Goofy over here. He's ready to go draw himself. Oh, bless. <laughs> Let me see. I want to make sure. I don't care about my drawing, but I don't want to mess up. sure that one stays intact and guys if you're trying to keep your your drawings you can ask at, uh, off the page you can ask for rubber bands that way you can Amanda says the new hat I love it right thank you Again, thank you to the flashies. Uh, I'm afraid this is gonna get squished, I'll carry it. Trade says, Mr. Javi, when I want to do lines, I just go to the DMV. Maureen says, yes, they're drawing is so smooth. That's why, the, that's why they are the professionals, right? They make it look so easy. guys don't be afraid to share your drawings remember what we say you know, your blessings are on the other side of your fears so just take the opportunity to to share it 
Um, don't be scared. You know, there's nothing but love here. Just the fact that you share it um, is a huge st step, and you should be proud of that. Marine says, awesome artist. Love it. Let's see. The Mickey so nice. Elastic Girl says mouse. The Mickey and Duck the Donald, yes. <laughs> Myra says, OMG, you did two drawings while I was in class. That's so cool. Yeah, this thing's cool. Every 30 minutes. Um <laughs> so this is the cleanest little section. Aurora, welcome in. Says hello from Bakersfield, California. I am on break. Welcome in, Aurora. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, Alex619, good morning. Yeah, let me see if anybody else shared something else. And then we're going to go oh, let me make sure sometimes we, it gets posted. <laughs> That's me drawing right there. Let's see. I know a lot more of you drew. We're being extra shy today. All right, let's uh, let's start heading back in there. We want to make sure. Ow, we get goofy. Ronaldo uh, likes the pictures. I like the music. Elastic Girl says, the crazies are shy. <laughs> Maybe it's too early in the morning. That's why. All right, guys, give me one second, one minute.
Alright guys, we are back. Let's go back in and see if we can draw the great Goofini. And let's go look at the schedule again. See who's up after that. See, hey, how are you guys? Good morning. <laughs> Once upon a time. I've never noticed the signs on before. the poo tigger sully no uh no dumbo today they got may Cusco. <laughs> so they do uh, alternate though i want to say i have seen dumbo i think i, I want to say we've drawn dumbo i think it's one of their their advanced classes. I wonder if it maybe depends on the artists that are here for the day. <laughs> so it is Goofy next, and then <clears throat> Piglet at 11. And then Hank at 11.30. And then there's nothing till 12.30. So we'll do Goofy. If you guys want to do Piglet or we can do Turtle Talk at 11. And then come back for Hank at 11.30. Or would you rather do Piglet and skip Hank? Hank is an advanced class. We've never done it. Well, we've never drawn Piglet either. Matt says, Javier, I used to be nervous to share my drawings, but since drawing along with you and Becky and Eli and getting compliments, it's helped with my confidence to share more every time I draw, so thank you. Yes, that's awesome. I'm glad. I know exactly how you feel. Um, again, we're always our biggest critics, too. So I'm happy that you're, you're getting more, more confident. So this is so good, have you had? You know, and the beauty about art is that even if somebody doesn't like it, it doesn't matter as long as you're happy with it. It's so subjective. Moses says, good morning, Disney fam, cafecito time. Welcome in, Moses. Gary N. Welcome. Says hello, everybody. How many Grizzly River runs have I missed? Uh, none today. There will be no uh, no river run. Yeah. 
Again, there's usually so many people walking that you don't notice the signs on the floor. Thank you. Richard uh, says, remember, Mickey belongs to all of us and is a part of all of us. Therefore, when we draw him, it is all a little bit of us. That is what matters. Well said, Richard. Thank you. Omar Octavio, welcome. Gary says, last night you had that look like I have when I'm on a ride. I do not enjoy and asking myself, why did I do this again? <laughs> Yeah, it was cool though, but I think that's the look I have all the time. <laughs> Maureen says, my son is a really talented artist, so I'm always nervous to show him any attempts. But since I started participating here, he is so excited to see my attempts and so encouraging. Thanks, Javier. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. So I encourage you guys to share your, your drawings, to, to attempt to draw it, share your drawing. You have no idea how, uh, how good getting the feedback is. Malo, welcome in. Omar says, uh, excelente día mis amigos. Gracias Omar. Feliz Viernes. March Queen says we need 45 crazies to hit 11.2k. Subscribe. I think I've drawn them like maybe three, hey, folks, three or four times. Show is about to start but each time I feel like, Academy, like I like my original characters. Goofy the most. That sounds kind of tough. Well, Nikki, with the help of a real it's Disney awesome. artist, it'll be easy and a lot of fun. Thank oh you. boy, save the seat for me, What's up, Daisy? Good morning.
That's that's cool, Heidi. Orient to the music from stage. Always so cheerful. Malo says, props to her. We are going to Disneyland almost every day. I was there on Tuesday. Disney hits different at 36 years old. <laughs> Too bad we couldn't meet. Hopefully next time, Malo. Annette Morales, happy Friday. Oh, there's a life of happy place. Padawan says, love that you can also see concept art in here. Yeah, that's nice. All the rough sketches and everything. Myra says, excited to draw Goofy. Goofy's ready. Make sure you get his ears right. <laughs> that was interesting. I learned that something new about drawing Mickey. His ears are always at a 45 degree angle. Pastas, I swear, it's too early for married life. Milo says, when is your Florida trip? Here. Um, October, like mid-October, second week. We're looking forward to it. I'm super excited. Lisa Kim says, what are we drawing? Uh, Goofy. Goofy is next. So come on, everybody has to uh, draw along in, in honor of Goofini. Hello. Oh, it looks like he's scratching his ear there. <laughs> My kind says, you over there. Yes, you. Draw along. Good morning, audience. Welcome to the MHC party. For your safety, please stay back behind that lovely line on the carpet until those doors have fully opened towards you. If you need 
need to leave the show early, your entrance doors will also be your exit doors, one way in and one way out. We do all the dirty in the class, so be no eating, drinking, smoking, or bad photography at any time. And finally, a point of courtesy to the artist. Please let us yourself up. And now it's time to have the goofiest dad I've ever met. Goofy? Of course! try to give people a little bit of time to go in. Melons, I'm going to put a big grape. 
That's gonna be his nose, of course. I like to give my Goofies a nice big nose. So it looks like if you walked up to Goofy and you squeezed his nose, it would go ha ha, like that, which is, I just think that's really appropriate for Goofy. There we go. Just like this. What a great character Goofy is. You know, he started out as a very different, well, not very different, but he had a different name, and he looked quite a bit different way back in 1932 in an old Mickey Mouse cartoon called uh, Mickey's Review. And in that, this character named Diffy Dog was sitting in the audience watching this terrific show and eating, munching popcorn and yucking it up like this. <laughs> Driving all the other characters around him crazy. He looked like this. Are you ready? Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. A yeah. bit different was Diffy Dog. But Walt Disney, when this cartoon came out, this character made such a big impression that he knew he had something special on his hand. So he started to give Dippy more parts, and eventually he said, okay, we gotta clean this guy up and uh, give him a better name. And so they did. The rest is history. Now, when you are drawing a character straight ahead like this, you show the length of their snout, and in his case, he does have a rather long snout, by putting these little single line rainbows right over the nose, very close to the nose, just above. Okay, now that would show that he's it's coming out a little ways. That's good for Mickey Mouse. In his case, though, he needs two of them. In Pluto's case, he would need three. He's got a longer snout. Okay, but he's also going to be smiling real big in our drawing, and it may seem a little odd, but we're going to put the corners of his smile right at the bottom of that circle, right at the top of that little melon, right here. There's a little outward curve and. Likewise, on the flip side. Those are the corners of his smile. Now, when you smile, the same thing happens to you that happens to Goofy. You get smile lines. These little single line rainbows pushing up your cheeks. Let's give him those. Like that. And his cheeks are going to go up and around there. So I'm going to grab onto that top snout line and go around like a coffee cup handle. From back in the day, you know, before Starbucks, when coffee cups had handles. <laughs> Dinosaurs rule the earth. Let's lock it. All right, now we can go ahead and lock in those jowls. I don't want to go right up under his nose, though. I will bring it down just a wee bit there, and we'll start heading around. What a great character Goofy is. Like I said, he started out as a total buffoon, but eventually he became quite the family man. Right? Does anybody here know the name of Goofy's son? Max, right? The Goofy movie just had an uh, anniversary last week. I, was it seven? No, more than 17 years old now already. What a terrific movie that was. And uh, Max is a unique child character in the wonderful world of Disney because you get children, child characters like Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and they're always like six years old. Right? Any, any child character is always the same, you know, age. But in Max's case, we saw him start out as a little boy. He got older. He went to school. He went to high school later, like he did in the Goofy movie. And in the extremely Goofy movie, he was in college. So that was a very unique thing. And I think they were trying to make a point, you know, and, and make him very relatable, make Goofy more relatable, because I think we're all relatable. I know I am. Yes. My wife says. <laughs> Give him some whiskers and some whisker dots. Now, he's famous for the buck teeth. I think he was the OG because every other silly character after Goofy stole this from Goofy. Let's go ahead and make them as wide as his cheeks. In fact, very lightly. I'm just going to bring lines down from the sides of his cheeks. Now, see that? I got these little marshmallows under here. Let's lock those in. Where they should be perfect. Perfect. I love Goofy. And I tell you, I really love the old cartoons where you would get Mickey, Donald, and the Goof all together in one cartoon. There's the one where they're cleaning the clock, the old clock, or clock cleaners, classic stuff. There's one with the trailer. I think it's called Mickey's Trailer. And they're all, you know, Goofy's. Was he driving or was he in the back like cooking breakfast or something? It was just total pandemonium. 
But my fave is the Halloween classic called Lonesome Ghosts, where they, th those three were the original Ghostbusters. <laughs> Don't let Bill Murray tell you otherwise. <laughs> okay, let's open his mouth up into a big silly smile. I'm gonna start up here. So this is gonna make visual sense. If you start right here at the corner of his smile and bring down a letter U, it's just gonna kind of connect those two teeth together. And if it goes up to this one, you're gonna look at it and go, yes, his mouth opens up in that direction. Now this is a bit of a mess. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. I wanna give him a lower lip. So I will just, as we like to say in art class, follow the study line. I'm gonna look at this little U here and I'm gonna draw it again a little bit lower to give that lower lip. Follow the steady line, my teacher told me. Let's get that locked on in. And then, since his mouth is wide open, what do you think we're going to see inside? His tongue. Correct. Correct. This lock. Yes. Yes to that. Let's get that locked in too. See? So everything opens up there. Let's go ahead. I'm going to start over on this side. His tongue's going to be kind of off to the side bringing it down towards that center guideline, and then I'll just grab on and bring this side down like this, shading in this in to give it a little bit of depth and a little bit of a chin down here. A little askew like that, so it looks properly even. Okay, everybody doing good so far? Yeah. We're at the halfway point for sure. But uh, let's carry on because the next part is the most important feature on any character. That's the eyes. And in, in Goofy's case, like the buck teeth, the eyes tell you that he's a little silly because a silly character will have eyes that are quite close together. I'm going to use his cheek here as a brace with this big curve going way up and this one going up this way. Now the thing about Goofy is he's basically got one eye that melts together right here in the middle. So just define the golden arches here and leave this line alone. His, his eyes just meet together in the middle like that. He is such a silly guy. Always happy. There you go. Let's get that locked on in. Something else that shows you know, his surprise or his silliness can be small pupils inside those great big eyeballs. So right above his top snout line, I'm gonna draw in his pupils. And you know, relatively, they are quite small in there. This, this gives him the look of surprise, right? Like everything was going fine, and then all of a sudden, goofy, the goofy things kicked in. Right? The house caught on fire, he got electrocuted, he you know, did some silly thing, and all heck broke loose. I love the goofy scream, you know? <laughs> I wish I could do that better. You hear it everywhere. You hear that ever, even at the end of the Alice in Wonderland run. I'm going to follow the steady line up here. See the golden arches head? I'm going to do that again, just a little higher, and give him some eyebrows. Just looking at this, going, yep, there it is. Follow that curve, follow that curve. Now he's got eyebrows. Let's get him locked in here. There we are. Goofy's voice was originally provided by a man who did quite a few voices for Mr. Disney. His name was Pinto Colby, and I love this guy. For, first of all, for having a cool name, Pinto. That's fun. But uh, also, he was the voice of, uh, let's see, Grumpy's, I, was it Sneezy? He's Dopey. Dopey doesn't talk, but he gargles, you know? <laughs> and so he was doing the gargling for Dopey. Uh, and he did uh, some other stuff along the way, too. But uh, yeah, Walt called on uh, Pinto quite a few times. I'm joining the cheek to the brow by choosing a line from my original circles here. I choose you. Yeah, looks pretty good. Gave him a little bump there at the top of his head and just a few little hairs. I'm going to go ahead now and do his ears like this. I'm going to put a little bump, a little earbud on either side of his face, just above those cheeks. It's not real, they're not really earbuds. If they were, he'd be listening to Powerline right now. 
They're just a starting point for his ears. And I like to make those ears look very animated, so I have them kind of coming out in this kind of wild curve. They're wide at the end. They're kind of like wobbly baseball bats, right? Coming to a very narrow point there. I'll do the same thing over here on the flip side. There we go. Go ahead and get those locked in, and once we've done that, then we'll have finished our drawing of, again, I said it before and I'll say it again, the king of silly characters, Goofy. Nobody takes a wallop like Goofy. That's what Roger Rabbit said, and he ought to know. There we go. All right, but how did you all do on your drawings of Goofy? Good. Feeling good about it? I'm going to go ahead and sign mine right down here so my mom will be proud of me. Good job, Kate. Okay. Let's have an art show then. I want to count to three and have everybody hold up their drawings of Goofy and let's see how you did. Are you ready? One, two, three. Show me Goofy. Loving it. Wonderful. Love those ears. Excellent. Whoa! Those ears got really great. What? Very Picasso-like. I like it. That should be hanging in the Louvre. It does. Excellent job. Wow, these kids did amazing. The adults did pretty good. No, you all did fantastic. Give yourselves a quick big round of applause. I think you captured the inner goof. I'm going to put this guy aside and skedaddle on out of here. I hope you all had as much fun drawing him as I did. Until you do, this class is dismissed. Have a great day, everybody. A round of applause for Thomas, everybody. For showing us how to draw Gooby. Thanks, Thomas. All right, that is going to do it for the class. Make sure you grab a hold of all of your things before you go. And remember, your exit doors are the same doors you entered in uh, just a moment ago. Take your sketches with you. You're welcome. If you don't want to keep them, recycle them outside. We will do it for you. You'll find the wire bin at the bottom of the ramp. Leave your sketch in the wire bin, and it will be recycled by the end of the day. Maybe soon. Thanks so much for coming out, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have fun out there. We'll see you soon. For now, that will do. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. -bye. I think my, uh, my Goofy looks like Pluto. I think he's missing his hat. We'll go into Let me show you over here. Guys, share your uh, your artwork. I think without the hat, I don't know why we didn't draw the hat.
better. Alright guys, let's see. Hey folks, may I have your attention please? John says if I wasn't Turtle working. The crash is just about to begin. <laughs> no worries. No All my way. How about you, do that? Absolutely. Right. Right. Tubular. Awesome. Dude, you're totally talking like <laughs> Richard said, I'll draw Goofy for Goofini's sake. He texted me last night and told me I should. Shout out to Goofy. Goofy's ready for his close up. Milo says, I'm going. Milo says, This is cool. Love painting. Yeah, share, Richard. Jen says, If I wasn't working right now, ninja watching, I would totally draw along. I love seeing everyone's drawings. Flashy says, we just landed safely. Thank you, everyone, for your prayers. Well wishes. Love you all. Yay, Flashy. Time to go home and rest now. Jerry says, no, Javier, can you get a job at the park doing the drawings? I wish. Jen is as goofy as phenomenal. Yeah, no, that wasn't mine. Myra says, I'm going for my last class of the day, but I'll check in a little later. Yay. Hold on, let's see how we're going now. Lisa said that was fun. Just DM you. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna show these. Gary Ann says Turtle Talk is really fun. What's up, Society Red? Says, hey everyone, just checking in on my lunch break. Hope you're having a great lunch. Let's see over here. Marines as well. Goofy was a challenge. All oh, boys. Island uh, Productions. Welcome in. So you guys are on California side or Disney side? The California side. Deborah Estrella says, yes, I agree. My daughter always draws along with you, Javier. We didn't know you were doing it today. Yeah, it just uh, happened like <laughs> last minute. As I was getting to the to the park, I realized the uh, We didn't have the same pep in our step. Feeney was drawing. He was ready for his class. Society Red says, I think Celeste should do the next scavenger hunt and Javier gets to pick the clues. I'm with you. Alright, let's see uh, some of these drawings. Another Donald. This is from uh, here on uh, Discord. It's coming up as Drew805. That's cool. 
Good job. Love it. We got Richard with his goofy. That's cool. Thank you for sharing. I love the eyes. Marine. <laughs> goofy saying we. That's super cute. I love it. Good job, Marine. JT says, uh, this is a mom's drawing. That's cool. That's good. I like it. And then JT is over here. <laughs> Definitely looks uh, like Goofy. That's awesome. Great job, guys. We got Matt in color again. We got Goofy with the hat. Right? I feel like it needs the hat. Good job, Matt. Let me see. I think we got some through Instagram. We got Lisa. That's cute. Is that just the guy and the girl? <laughs> Good job. You guys did so well. Remember, feel free to share. Make sure it didn't end up anywhere else. If you guys want to share it on Discord, we have a art section there, so you can drop it in there. Princess Rose says everyone's drawings are amazing. says Goofini is too cute. Let's draw him. Maureen says the family that draws together. <laughs> I like that. Lisa kills us. Sorry Javier, don't have Discord. Sit on IG. Perfect. You did a great job. Jen says great job everyone. Lisa says, thanks for bringing us along. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Here, let me show you guys. This is my goofy. That's oh, right, without the hat, I think he looks like Pluto. Thank you. 
<laughs> yeah, we do have all those purple chairs, but if you're feeling bold, maybe you're feeling brash, maybe you've got your moxie on today, you can come on down to the tide pools here in the very front. Yeah, we have the tide pool on the left, we have the tide pool on the right, and everyone's welcome to come on down to the tide pools. Don't be shy, okay? Yep, and you wear that solid blue. Yep, the tide pools are great for the young, the young at heart, Kevin Hart, Melissa Joan Hart. But like I said, you just gotta be all the way inside the solid blue just like you're doing right now. Yeah, you don't wanna sit in any of those stripy wavy areas. It's home to a really mean shark. His name is Marshall. Fire Marshall. <laughs> we don't get along. He's got his best friend Osha, too, for like a oh. dynamic duo. It's crazy. It's favorite. Yeah, come on down. We got all this blue space you can fill in over here. Got some purple padded chairs back there if you want. Awesome. Now the big actual reason that you don't want to be in those striping areas, those are actually going to be my walkways today. I really don't want to step or trip on anybody, okay? Weigh a lot more than I look. Because <coughs> of my muscles. We got work there. Thank you for laughing. Cool. Unrelated. <laughs> uh, anybody know a good veterinarian? Anybody? No veterinarian? Maybe is a veterinarian? Anybody? Nobody? Nobody. It's a shame these puppies are sick. <laughs> Thank you, four people, right on. All right, now, before we get started, let me do a quick survey, okay? Who's never been to Turtle Talk before? Just quick show of hands. Okay, good, quite a few of you, awesome. Whose first time is it to Turtle Talk? Should be the same people. <laughs> it wasn't, though. Interesting. Bigger question, though, how are we all doing today? <laughs> Some good energy, right on. Well, welcome to the Offertorium, everybody. My name is Sam. I'm one of the researchers here at the Marine Life Institute of Southern California. Now here at MLI, we have a three-part mission that you might know. That is to rescue, rehabilitate, and release all the sea creatures that need our help in the ocean. But we also want to do the research. So we built this awesome window to the Pacific Ocean. Can I get an ooh? ooh. After the ooh comes the ah. Very good. You might have noticed that little device all the way up there in the corner. That's us call our hydrophone. Works a lot like my microphone, but it picks up all the subtle sounds of the ocean so we can talk to all of our sea creature friends, just like our special guest today. What's his name? Shout it out! Crush! That's right! Yeah, Crush the Sea Turtle. He's going to be swimming on down here in just a little bit. He's going to ask us all kinds of questions about the human world. But the really cool part is that we might get a chance to ask him some questions too. So, who has a question for Crush already? Okay, good, we got at least a couple down here on the tide pools. Some of the seats, I think. Make some adults have questions. Adults? Yes? Adults! He loves talking to you too, so don't be shy, okay? It could be anything you want to ask him, like, um, you know, Crush, uh, what's your favorite color? What do you like to eat? What's your shell made out of? Why is it green? Where do you go on vacation? Or maybe something more complex, like, um, Crush, who's your favorite superhero? Who's your favorite princess? Uh, have you started on your taxes yet? Because I haven't. It can be anything <laughs> you want to ask him, okay? In the back is my good friend Lily. Everyone say hi, Lily. Hi, hi, Lily. Now, if you do need to leave, go talk to Lily. She'll actually help you out these three doors. The one's opposite from where you came in. Or you can always feel free to give those doors a great big push and they'll open right up for you, okay? Now, it's just about that time, folks. Let me turn down the lights, turn down the music, turn down for what? <laughs> ah, come on out this way. Moonfish, swim on out here really quick, please. Let me remind everyone to put away all of their food, to seal away their drinks. Please refrain from smoking and vaping, but take lots of pictures and video to turn off the light and the flash. What the flash? Give it up for the Moonfish, everybody! Woo! Good job, boys. Well, that's it. You ready to talk to Crush? Yeah! yeah. All right, everyone yell, hey, Crush! Hey, Crush! Some new humans in the people day. <laughs> hey, hello, human dudes! Hi, Chris! Oh, they live, they too! <laughs> Whoa, is that Sam over there? Ja, dude. Hey, bro. Ooh, can you help me make contact with the human dudes? Totally. 
I'm a sex slave. Oh, let's go over here to this high pool. Second knocking in from the Ivy Way. Do that long sleevey dark shallot. Oh, long Oh, hey, do that. What's your name? My name's Remy. Awesome to meet you, Remy. That's an awesome name. But I shall bestow upon you a turtle name. I'm gonna call you Radical Remy, dude. <laughs> hey, now that you have the turtle name, do you know how to talk like a turtle? No. Oh, dude, no worries. I can totally teach you. Because I'm a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> you repeat after me, dude. Say, totally. Totally. But, whoa. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> hey, sweet. Oh, now say, sweet. Sweet. It's like I'm talking to a turtle. <laughs> Smash it together. Say, totally sweet. Totally sweet. Dude, <laughs> give it up for Radical! <laughs> 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 Most excellent, dudette. <laughs> You're like, um, bilingual. That's <laughs> awesome. Hey, uh, where do you come from, Remy? Like, where do you live? Houston, Texas. But, whoa, Houston, Texas! Awesome, dudette! <laughs> oh. I have no idea where that is. <laughs> but hey, who brought you here from Houston, Texas, Mitty dude? Look what you come here with. Uh, my mom and daddy. Oh, mom and dad, the rental units. Let's talk to them. Uh, mommy, daddy, where you at, dude? Still your razor fit. Uh, oh, <laughs> short leash, rock on. <laughs> Hey, Mama Bear, what's your name? I'm Adri. Mama Adri, awesome to meet you, dudette. Oh, uh, how many kids do you have total, dude? One. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I just have 65. <laughs> <laughs> you should try that. <laughs> Thank you. It will take you. <laughs> but does uh, Remy ask you tons of questions, dude? She does. Oh, but you being rad mama, you have all the answers, right? I try. <laughs> uh, what happens if you don't have an answer? We usually say we'll look it up. <laughs> oh, dude, uh, that's actually very good. <laughs> that's a very good way of doing it, dude. Actually, humans, that's why I'm here today. My mini dude, Squirt, has been asking me all about you humans. And I need to look it up. <laughs> So if you dudes think you could help me out, say cha. Cha. You so totally rock. You so totally rock. <laughs> Let's get in the same way with that one, dudes. <laughs> when the green sea turtle says you so totally rock, respond dude real loud. So let's try it out, dudes. You so totally rock! Dude. Most excellent human dudes. Okay. Squirt totally wants to know if the humans know how to swim. So raise a fin who knows how to swim. I want to see all my Mondo human shredders. And we got a lot. Oh, dude, Sap. Let's go over here to this side. First row. Fourth noggin in. Yeah, totally. Awesome. Uh, hey, dudette, what's your name? Rebecca. Awesome to meet you, radical Rebecca. Oh, uh, hey, where are you from, dudette? Like, where do you live? Massachusetts. Uh, ooh. Oh, uh, how is the surf in Massachusetts? Right now, it's cold. Uh, oh, dude, that's <laughs> a bummer. <laughs> uh, if you're not surfing it up out there, uh, what do you like to do for fun? In the winter, hibernate. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, <laughs> you are you are a bear then, huh? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, uh, but what do you like to do in the summertime, you dad? Swimming, of course. Oh, well, when you get the chance to go swimming, do you like to go fast or take it nice and easy, dude? Fast, of course. Uh, ooh, so like really fast? Well, as fast as a human can go. Well, but like really, really fast. I don't think I'd beat you in a race. Yeah, you got that right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
fact, humans, you want to see how fast I can swim? Say chaw. Chaw. You so totally wrong. Yeah. All right, dudes, get the motor running. Go for it, new turtle. Speed. Rock it. <laughs> I'm ripping it. I'm rolling it. <laughs> <laughs> Should have hibernated in Massachusetts. <laughs> hey, Crush, watch out for the glass. Oh, uh. <laughs> you saw that too, right? Yeah. Oh, good. I thought I'd take a look at it to the noggin. Oh, but human dudes, knock some sense into me. I'm doing all the talking. Now it's your turn. Who's got a quizzy for the Crush Man? Ready to fit? I'm talking to everybody. Let's hey, Crush, that back. kid up front has a question. Oh, oh good look at that, Ink. Let's go over here, smack dab in the middle of this tide pool. Do that with the extra green ears on the noggin. You got it. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, hey, do that. What's your name? Sky. Awesome to meet you, Scuba Sky. Hey, what's your question, do that? How do you keep track of all your kids' names? <laughs> oh, dude, well, uh, just one cycle at a time, new dad. <laughs> it's actually really easy when you get a pattern down. Like, there's, uh, Sheldon, Shelby, me, Shell, her, Shell, your Shell, our Shell, my Shell, new Shell, one Shell, new Shell, red Shell, blue Shell, Shell, a little ding dong. <laughs> then there's the twins, there's Bill and Ted, Wade and Garth. Cheat and Chong. <laughs> then there's triplets, Barry, Kate, and Ashley. <laughs> then there's the teenagers, Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael. <laughs> then there's Ross, Rachel, Chandler, Monica, Joey, and Phoebe. <laughs> then there's John, Paul, George, and Ringo. <laughs> then there's Cross Jr., 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 LeBron. Cross Jr., Cross Jr., Cross Jr., all the way up to the oldest, <coughs> Yondu. <laughs> yeah, you laugh, but he's uh, 50. <coughs> Still lives at home. <laughs> we are figuring that one out, dude. <laughs> oh, but Dudette, do you have any bro bros or sisters of your own, dude? No, I don't. Oh, dude, that's much easier to remember, dude. <laughs> hey, it's silly awesome to meet you, Dudette. You so totally wrong! Hey, let's keep this party going, humans. Flip for some. Whoa, Marlin. Oh, hello, Crush. I I'm trying to get away from a, a turtle pile. Hey, no, you want to get into a turtle pile, dude? <laughs> hey, humans. Shattered again, dudes! Turtle Pile! <laughs> go, Joey Man! Go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, I love it when he babysits. <laughs> hey, who else has a crazy for the crush, man? Raise the fins up nice and high. Uh, let's, oh, dude, nice and simple, Sam. Let's go back to Remy, dude. Yeah, you got it, dude. <laughs> awesome. Uh, hey, dude, Dad, what's your question, dude? Who's your best friend? Oh, that's a tough one, Dudette. I know a lot of amigos out here in the big old blue. Of course, there's Marlin. He's a really good friend. Oh, but there's also Dory. <laughs> I call her Little Blue. Oh, but, you know, my my best friend would have to be my Dudette, Shelly. She's my turtle dove, dude. <laughs> Chow, we've been together for about 130 years, but it's been so awesome. Feels like the first 75, dude. <laughs> oh, but how about you, dude? Dad, who's your best friend? Uh, I have a lot of best friends. Uh, whoa, dude. The popular one. Rock <laughs> on. <laughs> Sweet. Well, hey, maybe you might be able to help me out with something, dude. Found this really cool thing on the ocean floor the other day. Well, I don't know what this is. <laughs> so Remy, do that. Do you have any idea what this thing is? It looks like a peace sign. Oh, okay, sweet. Uh, how do I use this? What's step one? Uh, I don't know. 
well, okay. <laughs> hey, but Remy, totally awesome to see you again. You so totally rock! Yeah. Flippers up, dudes. Any more questions for the turtle? Raise the fins up nice and high. Uh, let's see. Oh, dude, Sam. Let's go here on this side. First row, but fourth the last noggin, dude. You got it, dude. Awesome. Uh, hey, what's up, bro? What's your name? Grayson. Groovy Grayson. What's the question, dude? What's your favorite movie? Oh, no comprende, dude. Uh, what is a movie? TV. Uh, oh, um... That requires electricity, right? Yes. Chaw, we tried that out here once. <laughs> <laughs> the results were shocking. <laughs> but uh, how about you, dude? Uh, what's your favorite movie? Uh, Star Wars. Oh, no, wait a minute, too. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what happens in Star Wars, dude? Fighting. But, Zero to one hundred, okay. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, dude. I uh, I get the feeling Star Wars sets up in space. Whoa, dudes, it's Bailey. Oh, hey, let's come over here, human dudes. Everybody say, woo, crush. Hey. Oh, hey, what's going on, Bailey, dude? Oh my goodness, funny looking humans, huh? Whoa, kill the motor. They can totally hear you, bro. No, they can't. Watch this. Hi, humans. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh okay. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Dude, I was trying to. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> I felt like that. I'm getting something. <laughs> Is it hibernating? Wow. <laughs> Every human in the seats has a shiny rectangle that lights up. That's weird. I'm probably watching Star Wars, dude. Later, Crush. Uh, later, Bailey, dude. Humans, check it out. Bailey uses this awesome thing called echolocation. E-A-T! 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 Oh, E-A-T! Mini squirt, dude! Come on, come on! Turn the right E-A-T, dude! Aw, oh, curl away, my son. Well, dudes, familiar calls. But before I go, Mom, let me baby. leave you with this ancient bit of turtle wisdom. Human dudes, this has been passed down from generation to generation. Always remember, or else you forget. Remember, you so totally wrong! How's it going? Hello. How are you? Hey, I'm uh, 
Island Productions. I oh, Island Productions. How are, are you? Doing? doing good. How are you guys? Uh, I wanted to meet you guys. And, uh, uh, today is just me. You guys want to say hi? Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello. We got Island Productions here in family. How are you guys doing? Good, good, Having good, fun? Good. Yeah. Uh, first day here at Disney. Oh, okay. Uh, we flew in and it was like, oh my God. Yeah. We went to go cruise around and okay. check it out after we got off the flight. But today's the first day of our four days. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. We're have some fun. That's cool. Yeah. We're going to have fun. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, Same. I'm wondering. All right. If we yeah, of course. In, uh, Huh. That's why I can see. I get him. You get him. Right? Okay, ready. One, look, baby. Look, 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 empty. Look, empty. Look, 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 look. Okay, okay, ready. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Let me give you a button hey. for you guys. Oh. For you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you guys. Yeah. Have fun. I'm sure I'll see you around. Thank awesome. you. I appreciate that. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's cool guys, drop hearts in the chat for Island Productions. Lovely family. Padawan says, what a good show. Doom says, see you later, right? <laughs> Maureen says, turtle motivation and on a Friday. Crush is hilarious, I love Crush. Tyler Silva, welcome. Gary Ann says, I can draw a really small bug, really good, and family tradition. Any pictures of faces have to be, have to have antennas on their heads. Perfect. Maureen says, thank you to everyone who is sharing their art. It's so beautiful to see. Yes. Thank you, guys. There it says, now you just gave me a new vocabulary word and something new for me to bug my son to teach me how to use on YouTube. Thanks, Javier and Celeste. He's going to love that. Oh, wait. What did I say? What did I say? Sometimes I don't even <laughs> realize the things that, that come out of my mouth. <laughs> Gary says, I have to head out for work. Have fun, everybody. Thank you, Gary. Have a great day at work. Uh, let's see. Shady Turtle. We need 50 more crazies to hit 11.2. Guys, make sure you guys subscribe. Maybe <laughs> in Cheech and Chong. <laughs> Tyler says his voice, his voice of Albert Brooks. <laughs> Marine says dad jokes all day long. Mike Fierro says hi, crazy fam. Good morning, y'all. Welcome in, Mike. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. There was a, oh boy, Discord. Oh. <laughs> oh, JT added a hat, right? I think he needs a hat. I'm surprised they didn't do a hat. They're having us move in more.
Lily Bear. Buenos dias, Lily Bear. Dice, hola, chat, Mad, señor Javier. Ninja watching while I'm at the gym doing some cardio. Thank you, Lily Bear. Have a good workout. Rock and roll life, bro. Welcome to Javier. Have you got any dinner ideas for Foodie Friday? Um, I don't. I'm not sure what uh, Celeste is going to want to try. Usually leave that one up to her. Lily Bear says, I forgot the earbuds. I can only watch. We'll see what uh what Celeste is in the mood for. Brad GJ Adventures, welcome in. Happy Friday. This next one, guys, is supposed to be an advanced class. So, but those of you, if you're able to, please uh, try to draw along and then share. You can either drop it on Discord in the art uh, section or share it through Instagram. Step out of your comfort zone for today. Let's see, we should be going in in a couple of minutes. Pasta says advance. <laughs> That's what it's listed as on the on the schedule, as advanced. Deborah says I'm still one of those people who believe when you send a fax or an email out, it goes to the great and powerful Oz, and he gets everything that on my computer. <laughs> Interesting to see the the sketches. Yeah. 
I say, yeah. So that one's a little thinner than that one up there. Now that we've got this in place, we're going to start building. We're going to get a little more specific with the detail. Let's start with his eyes. Okay, Hank has very expressive eyes, and, they're, and it's quite funny the expression that he has them in. But I'll talk about that in just a minute. I'm putting a circle, and look how close it is to this line. It's pretty close. It's not touching it, but it's almost there. Now, he's going to be turned at a bit of an angle here. So this eye will be close to that one, but it's going to be a bit thinner. Okay? It's going to be more of an oval shape. Just going out the side of my original rectangle there, just a little bit like that. Okay? There's the way his body is turned. Halfway down, put a line going across. These will be his eyelids, okay? And we're going to give him eyebrows, too. Now, these eyebrows are going to really tell us a lot about his attitude, which is kind of iffy, you know? It's, um, it should, his brow should be about as wide as the eye itself. I'm going to go up above it and put two little lines there. And then I'm going to kind of curve down, and, you know, it's, it's kind of going upward on the inside here. And a little lower on this side, and I'm just going to kind of stretch out this little noodle, this little macaroni here, above his eye, like that. Now the other one is going to be kind of arched over it. This tells us that he has kind of a superiority complex. I'm going to start it right here, and it's going to go this way. Another little noodle, like that. Okay? I'm going to go ahead, and you know what? I'm feeling pretty good about these noodles. I'm going to go ahead and lock them in and make them a permanent part of my drawing of Hank the Septopus. If you guys remember, if you haven't seen, now, when we started getting the, the word that we were going to be drawing characters from two wonderful, wonderful films, starting with Finding Nemo and then, of course, its sequel, Finding Dory, I got very excited and I started watching things about the octopus, you know, on uh, Netflix, there's a terrific documentary called My Octopus Teacher. I highly recommend that. We learn so much, and we're gonna learn a lot more from National Geographic, like I said, in just a couple weeks on Disney Plus. But uh, I also went back and I watched Finding Nemo and Finding Dory again. And uh, they do explain in Finding Dory that Hank is not an octopus. He does not have eight arms. He tells Dory that a small child pulled one of his arms off at the aquarium where he lives. And so she says, oh, so you're a septopus. She goes, I can't remember so well, but I can count. <laughs> there we go. And if you haven't visited Turtle Talk with Crush right here in our building, I highly recommend you do that. Let's go ahead. You will see lots of the characters from these wonderful I'm going to lock in those, uh, those eyelids there. And I'm going to leave it like that for now. Let's go down here. Now, he does have seven legs, but from the way we're looking at him, we will clearly see four of the seven. Okay? The first one I'm going to draw in is going to start, let's see, a little bit above this line. So right here, about that far up. Now, I'm going to bring, <laughs> I always want to say it's his knee. Octopuses do not have knees. But if he did, it would come down and out like this and sort of wrap around the bottom of our rectangle, right about here. I don't know. To me, I just think that's his name. But the tentacle is going to go down and across, and you know how they are. They wind around and twist and do all those creepy things. Let's go ahead and grab onto the end of it. Once you get there, with this kind of outstretched S-curve, grab on and bring it back up and it's going to get a little wider as it goes up. It's narrow right here at the tip. And it's going to, I'm going to take it up above this line now. It's going to go up above it. And then it's just going to curve up maybe till it gets to this line. Yep, that looks pretty good. I'm ready to lock that in. I'm ready to commit. There we are. Oh my goodness. Character, uh, excuse me, Hank was a new character. He was not in the original Finding Nemo. He was created for Finding Dory. And there he was, a member of the Marine Life Institute. Let's go.
go ahead and get this locked in. I want, I, I want to keep talking, but at the same time, I really want to concentrate so I do this justice and you guys can really follow along well. Okay, the next leg. This is my favorite. I call it the Cinnabon leg. Okay? You'll, you'll know why in just a sec. Okay, go to that, uh, that curve. <coughs> And I'm bringing out this leg, and it's going to kind of roll around. It's going to go out pretty far, and then it's going to go up, let's see, about that far, and then kind of go into that Cinnabon thing, like this. Isn't that really delicious? Yeah. And if you add just a little, at the end of it, just add a little downward curve like that, right? So now you can see the tip of his leg there. Yep, this is looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and block all of this in now, too. He is a cranky but well-meaning character. He is very worried about being released, which is the modus operandi of the folks at the Marine Life Institute. He's a little afraid of being released into the wild. He likes the safety and seclusion of the Marine Life Institute. And so he tries to finagle a tag that Dory is wearing that would send her to another aquarium where he would live, at least he thinks, happily and safely for the rest of his life. That's all I'll tell you about that plot of that film, at least as far as Hank is concerned. Okay, got that in place. Now I need to kind of connect it to his body. So I'm going to go from about here, and I'm going to head up to this line right here with a nice graceful curve thusly like this. There we go. That looks good. Locking that in just like that. Now we'll add another little detail. Before we go any further here, I want to make sure that we don't miss out on his siphon. These, these little vents that octopuses have on the side of their head, right? They can intake water and propel water, and this is what shoots them through the water. They can also shoot ink out this way, too, and uh, defend themselves against predators like sharks. The sharks think the octopus tastes delicious. I'm going to come down this way. I'm going to come out just about this far down, and then I'm going to add this little oval-shaped hole here at the bottom. So that's where he can take in the water, and then he can shoot it out again, too. True facts. Okay. Let's get one more leg going back this way. I call this one Cobb's Snake. Anybody remember Cobb in the mm -hmm. Jungle Book? I don't know. This one just looks kind of like a snake. It's going to start right here. I always want to sing Trust in Me when I draw this letter. There we go. It's a big S. Grab onto the end of it and bring it back, just getting it a little wider as it comes to this leg here. That looks pretty good. Let's get that locked on in, too. All right. Ed O'Neill from Married with Children and Modern Family is the voice of, uh, of Hank and uh, a great choice. Hank's escapades are a highlight of that film, the way that he disappears using his camouflage. Some very, very funny moments. Ed O'Neill's vocal performance gives him a wonderful curmudgeonly edge. Okay, now that we've got those legs in place, let's add, add his mantle. Now, when you look at an octopus, you'll notice that they have this kind of big, bulbous, okay, make sure that everybody remains seated, okay? Excellent, guys. He has this big bag that kind of hangs back over the back of his house. Now, this is where an octopus keeps all their internal organs, their intestines and heart and everything, are inside this thing called the mantle. I'm going to start right up here, just right above the, si the siphon that we drew in a moment ago, and bring this. It looks like a Rastafarian color thing. Not, not that I know much about that. So inside what is known as his mantle would be all of those organs. I'm going to leave these alone. We'll add some detail, but uh, let's go back this way now. Let's see, should we draw them on? No, let's get that, that other leg in place. Okay? So 
So I'm going to leave this pretty light and loose until we bring this down. Now, once I bring this, I'm going to bring this line down and outward a bit until I'm even with this line right here. I'm going to kind of bring it out just so I'm keeping keep myself in check. And it's going to do a, a U-turn. It's going to head back up like this. Now this one, my friend Philip, a wonderful artist who works here with us, he said, this one is like holding the teacup with its pinky kind of outward, like this. I love that description. And here's, here's that little pinky, right? But I'll just, now that I've got that S curve in place and added that little tip to it, I'm just going to kind of bring it back down, getting wider as I go down. It's going to connect to the bottom of his body down here. So I'll, I'll take it down, give it a nice elegant curve, and then bring it up to this arm over here with a little upward curve at the bottom of his body. Just like that. That looks good. I, am I ready to lock that in? Yes, I think I am. I'm ready to commit to him. There we go. What else can I tell you here? There we go. Yes. In the film, in Finding, uh, in Finding Dory, Hank does use lots of the real life um, effects that octopuses or octopi, either way is okay. I checked, I checked the online dictionary on that. Uh, that uh, instinct. They can even change the, t the texture of your bodies so that they will look more like sand or gravel or rocks, and they'll be able to hide better from predators in that way. And if you visit here, you may see Hank over there at Turtle Talk using some of those techniques. He's pretty good at it too, let me tell you. All right, okay, I think it's time to give him some eyes. And I want him looking at us kind of sarcastically, okay? So that, that's half the battle right there, those lowered eyelids. But put this one right here, just this little half circle under that part of the eye, and then this one, of course, a little smaller for the smaller eye, like that, right? Doesn't it look like he's, you know, duh, kind of a look on his face? Yeah, yeah, he's like, what to do ya? <laughs> oh, you know what? We need to give him the top of his head here. If I were to follow that curve around, it would kind of come up under that brow and touch that eyebrow. So I'm going to connect that. I just noticed things now that I was looking at there above that eye. Let's get that in place. He also, <laughs> you know, he's not getting much sleep. So I'll start right here, and I'm just going to give him these bags under his eyes. Right there, just a letter J for that one. This one, a little narrower, but the same effect here. There we go. And if you want to kind of lightly shade these things in, that'll make them look really tired. You just can't take the stress anymore. You can also shade in the top of his eyebrows. I'll probably give those a little bit of color while I'm in the neighborhood. There we are. Excellent. We can darken in little tube, the siphon over there as well, and now we'll add some details. I think when you think of an octopus, what do you think of? You think of those tentacles and what's underneath them? Those suckers, right? Those things, I've always scared the dickens out of me. I saw 20,000 leaves under the sea when I was a kid, and the, and the submarine got attacked by a giant squid. It's terrifying. But the, yeah, these suckers that they could grab onto things with. In actuality, you know, um, in some of these documentaries, like the one I mentioned on Netflix, you see that um, they're, they're really not that much to be worried about as long as you're a human being. They, they won't uh, do too much to you. If you are a small fish and he's hungry, it could be a different go ahead. Now see this? I'm adding an inner edge to strategically placed parts, like right here, right here. Let's see, I'll put one deep down here at the bottom of this leg, and one right up here where that little twist is. I'm going to put some suckers inside of these things. It's a little narrow there, but that's okay. And maybe just one more over here. I don't want to overdo it. And in each 
And in each of these spaces, I will just draw maybe two, maybe three of those little oval suckers there. There we go. Tap that. Looks like I could get a couple in there and a couple in here. Actually, these octopi have 2,000 of those things. A mature octopus has a couple thousand of those that they can grab onto things with. Hmm. Okay. Now, we can add some more detail. We'll give him some spots. I'm going to just lightly shade in those shutters, and then we'll give him some spots to show that texture, that, that way that he can disguise himself as various things. Going back to that wonderful documentary that, I, that uh, my octopus teacher, and I don't suppose it's a problem for me to mention something on Netflix. It pertains. We don't own Netflix yet. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful documentary, the first time you see the octopus, the diver that's, you know, that's kind of investigating the life of this particular octopus, he sees a pile of seashells and rocks, and they're kind of moving. And what the octopus has done is he has grabbed onto, with his suckers, grabbed onto a bunch of seashells and things, and covered himself up. So he looks like a big pile of junk. And these little, you know, fish that are kind of like coming at him, are kind of afraid. They see this thing and they're kind of weirded out by it. And that's his defense mechanism. It's just fascinating stuff. There we go. There we go. A few more. Let's see, where can I put some more? Hmm, how about over here? Right here and right here. Maybe one right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. You know what? I think we've done it. I think we have finished our drawing of Hank. And so, I am going to sign my octopi right over here. There he is. Okay. <laughs> yes, while you're here visiting us in the animation building, by all means, if you haven't already, go visit Turtle Talk with Crush, because this guy, he does make special appearances over there. But if you blink, you might miss him. Okay? Keep your eyes open when you go. All right. How'd you all do? Good? Okay, got a smattering of applause. A small smatter. Okay, oh, okay. Well, then let's have an art show. Wait, save the applause here. I'm going to applaud you guys. I want to see your drawings. I'm going to count to three. I want everybody to hold their drawings up. Let's see how you did. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Yes. Very good. Oh, my goodness. These kids did. Those are really wonderful. Look at these beautiful little drawings. Did you do that? She didn't do that. You did. Wow. I like all of his polka dots. You did a great job. You guys did fantastic. This is not an easy character, right? You're going to look at this later and you're going to go, I can do that? That's amazing. My friends won't believe it. You did a great job. I see that lightning. Nicely done. Give yourselves a great big round of applause. Now, you earned it. Well, I am going to put this guy aside and slither on out of here. I hope you all had as much fun drawing Hank as I did. And that you'll see the show when it comes to Disney Plus, Secrets of the Octopus. And until we see you back here at the Animation Academy, everybody have a wonderful day. Class is dismissed. Let's give Thomas a big round of applause, everyone. Thank you, Thomas. And thank you all for joining us here today at the Animation Academy. Your exit doors are now open. Those are the same doors you came in through at the beginning of class. Before you head on out, please do us a small favor by making sure your drawing boards are propped up against the seats the way you found them. We would greatly appreciate the help with the cleanup. At this time, though, we need everyone to start gathering up all of your personal belongings. This includes the drawings that you made today. Those are yours your to phone. keep as a souvenir. Your phone. If you don't want to keep your sketches, your phone. you can recycle them outside. If you need more time to work on those sketches, you can head on over to the Sorcerer's Workshop. They have desk space and RSA pencils available for you there. If you plan on joining us in our
wasn't sure where we were going with the rectangle. All right, so the next thing will be Daisy. That's until 12.30, though. They don't have one for 12 o'clock. So let's go outside. Let's see. Make sure if you guys followed along, make sure you guys share on Discord. Or send it through uh, Instagram. It's chilly out here. It's a little busy though. And there's a breeze. Actually, it's windy. Let's, uh, let me find a table. Definitely feels like it's busier than yesterday. find something over here where it's covered it should be protected from the wind there we go And welcome in, guys. Sweet Adrian says, adult beverage time, right? Actually, is it open? If you insist. Uh, Courtney says, very much enjoying this fun drawing stream. Thank you, guys. Pasta says, the plural of octopus is a octopuses or octopi there are over 289 species wow yeah i've heard there's a light there's a lot of interesting facts about them they have three hearts one that pumps blood through its organs and the other two pump blood through its gills isn't it also I want to say, is it octopus that they say they're not sure exactly how they mate? Very complex creatures. Extremely smart. It's shaped like a donut, encompasses their esophagus. Wrap your mind around that fact. Giant Pacific can live around three to five years, which is relatively long for an octopus. Generally, they live no longer than a year. Oh, wow. J2 says, wow, this was a tough one. Uh, Brad G. J says, he was a cast member artist that gave his drawing of Stitch to my son during our visit of Animation Academy for my son's birthday. That's cool. He was so awesome. Made my son's birthday and trip that much more special. Yeah, like I was saying, guys, the the artists they're, they're super nice if you ask them um, uh, most of the time they'll give you their their drawings unless they have it already saved for somebody else but always ask so let me see did you guys share yours i hope i see more we got uh michael fierro wow that's really nice let me turn this around we got Mike Fierro I like it
Good job. JT says, another masterpiece by mom. <laughs> That's really good. Love it. We got Matt over here in color. With the, with the eyes, with the blue eyes. Like it. Good job, Matt. Hold on, let me. Uh, Let me like this before I forget. Marie, so this was hard. Where's the spoon? There's a spoon. Good job, Marine. Wait, the Z's, is he falling asleep? Are those Z's or am I, are my eyes just tripping? Good job, Marine. Mystery guest, thank you for sharing. It says shawarma time. That's cool. I love the eyebrows. You did it with pen too. Good job. I love that, um, I don't know, what is it, the cross, especially for like shading, I love how it looks. Good job, <laughs> Celeste's mic <Mike>, show off. <laughs> These are all really good. Isn't it? Let me see, where's, uh... Let's see, anybody else share? Is that it? All right, let me show you guys mine. Cosmo says, great drawings. Marie says, yes, he's tired like me. <laughs> I think I got to put some Z's in mine too. Wait, was it on... Uh, Cross hatching, that's what it's called. All right, so here's mine. mic now that when I don't have the mic it sounds uh, super low <coughs> <coughs> hold on priorities time to order All right. 
here is my Hank. And that's cool because for the paper they did give us, well, let me show you Hank first. That's mine right there. He does look very judgmental, doesn't he? <laughs> like, what are you looking at? Secrets of the Octopus. That's cool. And then I showed you guys Goofy. away with the other ones but I might as well show them to you again for those of you that joined late we got Mickey over here was the first one Mickey looked like he'd been having one too many churros right there Mickey the mouse and then we did Donald I think I probably like my Donald the best of all the drawings today. I'm telling you guys, you should share. Share with the community. Adrian's is classic Mickey hashtag churro. get a I think we should have a shawarma since we're on this side I'm hungry <laughs> yeah, it's pretty busy over here Is, uh, Monsters is down right now. Oh, I guess they got... Oh, they got kids. That's why it looks so crowded. Uh, you know what? Let's go get our shawarma first. Because it'll be easier. Oh, there's Goofy. <laughs> Celeste, if you're in the chat, remember to bring my jacket. There's one in the car. Kai says, thanks for being brave and sharing your drawings. Yes, guys. I'm so proud of you guys. Cosmo says, wow, great job, Javier. Milo says, chow time. Hello. Uh, can I do the chicken shawarma? 
thinking. At first I was like, in my head I just kept going to myself and I was like, I was kept, I like low-key was irritated. <laughs> just for that. Like if you don't celebrate it, I mean, because it's really just like, don't. Okay, thank you. Thank you. But in my head, it was irritated. <laughs> in her head, she was irritated. Got the chicken shawarma with the I don't remember what the sauce is, but it's good. Right? Hey. Is it cold? It is a little chilly. I see a lot of people with the jackets on. Are you waiting in or? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, 9109. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you too. Let me find a. Uh, let's see, is there a low table? I guess we'll get a. Tall table. Malo says, I'm always wearing shorts, even in the rain. Me too. Um, I was going to put it, but I just, this is dirty. So we did get the chicken shawarma. the sauce and then we did get a back lot michelada I figured I'd get my vegetable servings in <laughs> Pasta says, such talent. Heidi D says, that is so good, Javier. Janine says, I love your drawing. Thank you, guys. Marie says, Javier, that looks professional. <laughs> you guys are too kind. Sweet Adrian says, wow. Eb says, I didn't have Javier. <laughs> I didn't have Javier becomes pro Disney artist on my 2024 bingo card. What the heck? That's funny. Thank you, guys. Javier, big show off, whatever. Sweet Adrian says, Donald is awesome as usual. Time for lunch, great drawings. Brad GJ says, Animation Academy session is always great, yes. Ulises Baltasar, welcome, welcome in, says, What's up, familia? Hello, Javier. Hope everyone is having a fantastic Friday. Thank you for joining. We're going to eat really quick, guys, and then we'll see. Oh, well, we gotta eat really quick. Huh? See if we can catch Daisy. And then um, maybe cross over after that. Arlene says, are you going tomorrow? 
to Disneyland. I think we have reservations. Brad Titan says, well, they have special food for Pixar Fest. They will. I think they dropped the foodie guide already. I was seeing posts. I haven't really looked at it, though. Vicky Rag says, hello, Javier and Crazy Crew. Joining super late, because I didn't get my notifications today. Oh, no. That's weird. Today, you guys should have. I know yesterday, it was like last, uh, last second. That's a lot of uh, citrus flavor. <clears throat> um, said he went 60 degrees at Disneyland right now. J2 says, we got some talented crazies. We do. Maureen says, in my head, I'm hungry. Time to get some, some snacks or lunch, guys. Malo says, Sunday headed out to the Spartan race cheer on my knees wow that's cool I wish I could do those but good luck to your knees huh? Amanda says little does she know now 260 people know she was <laughs> right <laughs> City Web says rain for Disneyland on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, but they're saying it's it's not supposed to be a big um, weather system, so there's a chance that you might not get any rain. Richard says Goofini gets nothing to eat. He's fasting. Beta says, "How y'all doing today? Welcome in, Beta. We are great. On the road." Mala says, I tried the cookies from Brist Bristol Farms. Delicious, fresh baked. First time at that market. So clean and friendly people. Bristol Farms. I don't think I've ever been to Bristol Farms. Kai says, I just looked at the foodie guy. There's a lot of new stuff. Lots of different baked potatoes that sound delicious. Marine says, Javier will not be catching the scurvy, right? You're here staying alive. Okay, so there's going to be a barbecue baked potato with pulled pork and brisket in. Small World Life says, I packed my poncho just in case. Mr. Guy says, shawarma time. Nancy Hernandez. What's up, Nancy? There's Goofini. Milo says, thanks, Javier. Brad GJ says, thank you, Javier. Making me hungry. Only having my coffee right now. It's 9 a.m. here in rainy Hawaii. Wow. Huh? Coffee, uh, you don't got no pastries or anything? Nintendo Game Dude says, I kind of want to go Sunday in the cool weather for just clam chowder bread bowl. Yeah, actually, that would have been perfect right now. Malo says, anyone watch The Amazing Race? We used to. We haven't seen it in a long time. We always joke around with Zalesa. If we were to go on it, we'd probably end up like breaking up with, we'd get so frustrated with each other. Welcome, Benna. This says clam chowder bread bowl sounds good. Well, Lily Beth says, I joined Gofini and fasting till 4 p.m. when we have dinner with the hubby. She said, Weather. Milo says, I love Hawaii. I've never been. It looks beautiful.
I feel like it's not as spicy as the last times I've had it. This is good. I highly recommend it if you guys haven't tried it. I just recently started eating these and they're so good. Hola Lilibet, gracias. Bendecido viernes para ustedes igual. Nintendo game, this is, um, we always think if we'd be able to do certain pit stops. J2 says, how about Amazing Race Disneyland Edition? Pasta says, yes, Monterey. Christian says, I had chicken sandwich for lunch. Nice. Nintendo Game Dude says, I went to Alani Resort last year for a week in May. I had the best time ever. Highly recommend it. One day. Hey, Fire, welcome in. It says, hi, bro. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you for joining. Happy Friday. What's up, Steelers? Because I'm watching from my classroom as usual. But I did a thing this morning. I booked our usual hotel there. I want to go to Disneyland, hopefully May 18th through the 26th. Summer break. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. At least you, you took that first step, so you're kind of committed now. Erica Costa says, mm, looks delicious. Por vecha, Javier. And to everyone else having lunch. Thank you, Erica. And Kai says, barbecue potato dog inspired by Toy Story. Smoked sausage, barbecue pulled pork, coleslaw, fried onions, green onions. Served in a big potato. That sounds good. Malo says, I've been blessed, been to Hawaii twice. That's awesome. Christian says, Compa can't wait to go back to Disneyland in seven days. Yay, Christian. We look forward to seeing you. Danielito says, whatever you're drinking looks so good, but also like instant heartburn. <laughs> yeah. This isn't for, uh, for everyone. This is for the professionals. Cosmo says the grotto in the wharf has the best chowder. Wait, the grotto? Wait, is that Aunt Cass now? I feel like the the bread bowls they taste the best over here. My theory is the bread is fresher right here. I feel like the bread, because they cut it open here, and then I'm assuming that, you know, they transport it to like, let's say, Harbor Galley and those areas over there. So I feel like the air has been hitting the bread, you know, through the travel and during the day. So it doesn't taste as fresh as having it here. So, if you guys are going to have a bread bowl here at the park, if you're able to, I suggest getting uh, from Aunt Cass or at least something here in DCA. Hi, thank you. I saw that you posted. Some dumb dumb. Thank you for subscribing. What's up, Simon White? Welcome in. Says, Hola, Javier. Just woke up. 5.30 a.m. here. With daylight savings, finishing the time difference is so much more. Loving your hat. Thank you. Welcome in, Simon. Happy um, Saturday. Citizen Leroy, welcome. Taylor says, uh, we were just there in December for the holidays. Ready to go again. Go to the beach. Love Star Wars and Pixar. So, need to go in May. It's perfect. 
Making memories says Cuba Big Brother. <laughs> What's up, making memories? Cosmos is interesting. Have you ever have to try that? Kai says they got una papa loca inspired by Coco. Jaime dice, ¿está comiendo una empanada? No, es este shawarma, como, como un giro, gyro, giro. Está bueno. Right. We gotta go if we're gonna catch a... Yeah, actually, we really gotta go. We got three minutes. Actually, yeah, three, two minutes. It's not so cold, the, just the temperature. It's this wind when it comes in. That's when you really feel it. tell on the palm trees. It's pretty windy. Which a lot of times it's good because it just pushes uh, the rain out of the way. One minute, one minute. Oh no, they left the light on for their Bubble one. have more people draw for this one. It's Daisy Duck.
What's up, you need this? Welcome. Shout it out if you know or think you know. Go. No mistakes. Messy. Anyone else? I'm looking for a word. Start with the letter S. Rough sketch. Yeah. Our drawings are supposed to be very rough, very messy, and very sketchy, right? The one place where being sketchy is a good thing, right? <laughs> and we want that from you. Now, along the way, you some of you caught that. Along the way, you might find that you make a mistake or two. You're gonna see all of mine on that screen. But you know what? That's what animation is all about. Honestly, making mistakes is part of the process. Light and loose is how we start. Darken in as we go. And there's great examples of that on the wall, right? Those Mushu's, look at them, they're so amazing. If you got close to them, you would see those rough lines. So keep that in mind. All right, I think that's everything. Are you ready to draw? Daisy. Yeah, yeah? all right, let's do it. Okay, for Daisy, we're gonna start with a circle in the middle of your paper. But what I like to do is find the center about here, leave a little mark, <clears throat> excuse me. And then I want you to draw a circle about the size and shape of a baseball or an orange, right in the middle of your paper. If you draw really big like I do, though, leave more room on top of the circle. What do you think for? What does she like to wear? She likes to wear her bows. Yeah, she wears hats, too, every now and then, but the bow is definitely her sign, her, her marker. When you draw your circle, you want to light and loose, sketch in a bunch of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Because the circle, a good one is very helpful, right? But you don't want to strip about how perfect it looks. Perfection is a social construct anyway, right? It doesn't really exist, yeah. <laughs> Let's add some guidelines. These, luckily, are very easy to do. <coughs> so for Daisy, you'll draw one line down the middle. We're drawing her facing forward. And then one line a little lower, though, something like this. Because she's got those very big, expressive eyes. And we need the room for those eyes. All right, this looks nothing like Daisy. It looks like Conrad's lightsaber, right? If you got that, you're on the right track, yes. Let's add some more features, though. Yeah. So for Daisy, we're gonna start with her bill. So over here where the lines are crossing, I want you to draw this kind of sloping parenthesis, stretched out letter C shape. One thing about Daisy's design that they always wanted to include is that they wanted her to look different from Donald. Now that didn't always happen because at one point Donald and Daisy shared the same voice actor. <coughs> Excuse me. And they look very similar. In fact, Daisy's original name was Donna Duck. Donna Duck was her name, yeah, right? But Donna sounds a little too close to whose name? Donald, Donald right? Donna, Donald. They're clearly different. They're the same really fast. They sound really alike. So they wanted to change her up. They changed her name. She went through redevelopment, and she looked the way that she does now. Very iconic in her own right. 
We're connecting C's to those parentheses and then stretching across this big rainbow. Now, the important thing about the ducks, all of them across the board, is they have very detailed designs. Daisy, I feel like, definitely does too. But there are tricks in their designs to kind of fool our brains. That's what animation is all about. It's about the magic of making something appear the way that it does, but with some tricks involved. So, for example, we want to make Daisy's build look like it's coming up toward us. So, we'll stretch across that rainbow, and then right on top, we'll situate another one. This one doesn't go as far, though. All right, let's go ahead and add in some smile lines for Daisy because I would consider her as a very sassy duck, right? She's got a lot of tood to her. She's really fun. If you've ever met Daisy Duck in the theme parks, you could very attest to her personality, right? She's got a really big personality, and that's what makes her so fun. Now, for Daisy specifically, above these smile lines, we want to start to draw in her cheeks. The smile, I kind of start to build this little boxy letter U. Think as though you're drawing like a big box right over that smile. And then push it right to the corner, basically in the middle of that original letter C shape. So she's got a big smile, right? She's just going to push her, her cheeks up. Now here's an advanced technique for all of you out there. Alumni, you know what's coming next, right? Our seasoned pros. You want to draw very lightly through the bill. This diagonal line is very short, too. It doesn't go all the way down. Because when you compare Daisy to Donald, Daisy's bill is a little bit smaller, a little bit more dainty, right? Where Donald's bill is very, very large. It also kind of fits his personality. So draw lightly through the bill, and then whatever is peeking from behind the bill will then connect with the letter U. So if you were to leave it like this, it kind of looks like you just drew her, her mouth closed, right? She's actually got a little chin here. We want to open up her mouth, her smile. We call that a laughing smile in animation. So you'll do the same thing, but this time you're going to pull the cheek through the bill. But same diagonal line, same light, loose, messy, sketchy line work. And then connect that same letter U right underneath. So essentially you're creating these very boxy letter U's. Now in animation, this actually goes across the board throughout history, is that you want to avoid too many sharp points on a good-hearted character. Why do you think that? Who, who would we use sharp points for? Villains, yeah. Can you think of any villains that have really sharp points? There's a lot of them. Shout them out. Maleficent. We could stop right there, right? Maleficent is literally drawn with points all in mind. Yeah. Yzma, I heard someone say. Scar. Uh, there's so many examples. So even though Daisy Duck, again, she's got a little bit of two to her. She's got to, right? She's got Donald Duck as a boyfriend. She's got to, like, keep up with him. So her tongue is the only sharp point about her. So it's a curvy letter V. All right, let's stop on adding anything new and go back and lock in our features. So if you've never been here, locking in is just fancy art talk for saying lock in. That basically just means you're going back over your messy, sketchy lines or mistakes if you made them. I've actually made a few already, right? But you're only darkening in what's important. Now let's talk a little bit more about Daisy Duck. Now she never received her own series of cartoon shorts, much like Minnie Mouse did as well. However, Minnie and Daisy appear in so many shorts, so many movies, probably because they are with uh, Mickey and Donald, respectively, right? They have their own kind of empires, but Daisy and Minnie have their own history and iconicness to kind of back them up to. So we can see Daisy in many animated films, including Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Are there any Roger Rabbit fans out there? Yeah, me too. Who Framed Roger Rabbit, she was in Mickey's Christmas Carol, Fantasia 2000. Every single Donald short you could ever think of, right, she was around. My favorite thing for Daisy, though, is in the House of Mouse cartoon show. Has anyone seen House of Mouse or know what that is? Yeah? Right? Is that on Disney Plus yet? I don't think so, right? We gotta write a letter to somebody, okay? We'll, we'll start it. Because, yeah, we have Mickey Mouse, right? We should march over to Toontown. Mickey Mouse, what's going on? That show is amazing, y'all. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's basically like a big crossover with a bunch of Disney characters. All right, halfway in, how are we doing out there? Good. Bad? Pretty good? We're like across the board. Fabulous in the front row? I believe you. Okay, let's go ahead. You don't need an eraser. Who said that? Yeah, I heard you. No eraser. Remember, light and loose, locking in, you go. If you snuck one in, though, why not? Maybe somebody out there has one. Maybe we can pass it over to over here. Uh, let's add in the eyes now for Daisy, the most important feature for any character. And she's got these very big, expressive eyes. And she uh, needs them, right? Because she herself is a very expressive character. 
Now, if you were to walk in right now, you could honestly assume this could be Donald or really any character, any Disney duck. But what makes Daisy separate from Donald is the length of space between their eyes. So Donald's will be a lot closer, Daisy's are a lot farther apart. She's gonna look a little possessed though, right? She looks a little scary, yeah. Let's uh, let's give her, a, let's do her a solid and connect the bill that helps in uh, kind of bringing this forward. It's also a really great way to connect both eyes together, a little hill in the middle. Now, the thing about Daisy is that because of her personality is so big and so expressive, she really needs those big eyes, right? But again, this still could be, you could still mistake it for, for Donald, for example. So let's go ahead and lock in the bill, and I'm going to connect it on both sides here. We'll lock this in. And then when you go back to lock in the eyes, do your best to try and situate the eyes within the bill. So for me, I'm going to extend my line a little bit because I want to start to bring these eyes forward. Now, one thing that can be said about Daisy, again, her personality is very great, and you can actually catch a lot of her in the Runaway Railway ride. Has anybody been on the Runaway Railway ride yet? A few of you? Yeah, great. It's a great ride. In fact, those that series of cartoons, the wonderful one with Mickey Mouse, I highly, highly recommend. It's such an interesting look onto our original Sensational Six, which, by the way, Daisy is a part of. Do you guys know who the other five members of the Sensational Six are? Shout them out. Mickey, Mickey Minnie. Donald, Daisy, Pluto, and Goofy, Goofy, right? You named them all. That basically means that they are the most classic Disney characters that we think of, because there's actually a lot of other classic Disney characters, some even that are older than they are. I can think of a few. We can think of two little chipmunks. Who are they? Chip and Dale. What about a very happy-go-lucky cow? Clarabelle. What about a very happy-go-lucky horse? Horus, yeah. Or what about the original Disney villain, the big cat? Pete the Cat, yeah, all of those I would honestly allow into the Sensational Six. We'd have to name it something else though, right? But classic in their own right. Now what makes Daisy a little different from the design for Donald is that she kind of has this characteristically lower lid that's pulled from the top corner of the eye down to the center. And then she's got these very big expressive eyelashes, right? You want to flick your pencil, I'd say at least three times. At least, any more or any less, it's up to you. Make it look very fabulous. All right, let's go ahead and add in those eyes now because she looks like she got off the Haunted Mansion and was forever changed, right? Or was on the Guardians of the Galaxy and was trapped on there. Let's add in her pupils. You, you can add anything that you want in there. Maybe Daisy's your favorite character or a character you really like, or you just want to draw her with hearts or stars. Yeah, anything. You can draw anything in there. I think one point somebody drew turkey legs. Maybe their Daisy was hungry. She was thinking about turkey legs, right? You can totally do that. That's the great thing about our classic characters. You can do anything. Here's the rule, though, the only rule. I'm going to check your work after. Lock in those eyes. Make sure they're super, super dark. You want their eyes to really stand out because the eyes are the most important thing about a character, you guys. Think about characters like Wally or Jack Skellington who technically don't have eyes when you think about it, right? But still, we're able to look into their eyes, their uh, eye sockets in for Jack's case, and really see what they're thinking. That's that's powerful. She's got very expressive eyes, number one. That means she's gonna have very expressive eyebrows. So they're just these little rainbows that sit on top of the eye. Think little rainbows. And if your pu or not your pupils, if your uh, eyelashes get in the way, just extend them. There's nothing wrong with having very long lashes. All right, last but not least, we got to close off the side of her head, but for Daisy and Donald specifically, you can count the other ducks too, they have a little bit of fluff above their cheeks, and you just want to pull these little C-curves to the side of your circle, and then close the rest. Now in House of Mouth, going back to it, you can actually see Daisy's hairstyle, but you can't see if she's facing forward, it actually kind of flares out and down, so it's, it's a very like elegant The bow, right? So you want to draw a little oval on her forehead. Looks like she's got a little egg on her head. And then blinking, you might miss it, but we got to start to build her bow. So pull two curves from that knot and pull these really far if you really want to give her a long bow, and she certainly does. She and Minnie actually have very friendly competition to see whose bow is the longest. I think I can see Daisy, though. She's got a very big bow. Bring it down, almost like you're creating the antenna of a little a little cricket. Speaking of Wally, it kind of reminds me of a little cockroach from Wally. Remember that little cockroach? 
Yeah, you had a name, his name was Hal. And then we'll curve down from behind the lashes these big swooping letter C's. Looks like a butterfly now is sitting on her head, which is a good look, and I feel like butterflies would probably love to hang out with daisies. But we want to make it look more like a bow, so we'll bring two curves opposite from the first. And then we'll show where the bow is kind of tied nice and tight by bringing two tension lines and then closing the bottom. From here, feel free to add anything else that you like. Maybe you want to draw hearts in the background, or you want to give her bow some polka dots. I think that's day or Minnie's thing, but maybe give her stripes. Do anything. But the most important thing, our alumni have been here before, and you know what we're missing, right? What's the last step? Signature. The signature. So find a good spot and sign your sketches, everybody. All right, and in the end, how did you do up there? Pretty good, amazing, I heard. You tried your best? All right, we'll take it. So stunned silence though from a lot of you. So you know what? We gotta have a heart show. Let the artwork do the talking. So on the count of three, ready? One, two, three. Daisy. Okay, front row, absolutely. Look at that appeal in your drawing. She's so cute. Big eyes, nice job over here. The bow, it's so teeny tiny. I love her eyes over here too. Okay, there's like so many good ones. It's hard to point out so many. Here in the front row, over here, the birthday girl. Nice job with the eyes. She looks so cute. I love it. Nice, with your sketch with the shiny eyes? Okay, back rows, you gotta need some love. Let's see one more time, one more time. Good job. Yeah, these look great. Come on, what do you mean? Give yourselves a round of applause. What do you think, yeah? Oh, that one's good, sir, too. It was upside down, though, but I saw. All right, well, you know what? Those drawings are for you to keep. I gotta give my drawing the artist over here celebrating a birthday, and I love your drawings. This is for you. Here you go. You're welcome. You're welcome. Everyone enjoy the rest of your day, and class is dismissed. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Let's give Manny a big round of applause, everyone. Thank you, Manny. And thank you all for joining us here today at the Animation Academy. Your exit doors are now open, which are the same three doors you entered in through at the start of class. Uh, before you leave us, please do us a small favor just by making sure your drawing boards are propped up against the seat where you found them. That just helps us out with a clean up, clean up and we greatly appreciate it. At this time, we need everyone to start gathering all of your personal belongings. This includes the drawings that you made today. If you don't want to keep your sketches, there is a recycling basket that's outside of the bottom of the ramp as you exit. If you need more time to work with sketches of Daisy Duck, you can head on over to the Sorcerer's Workshop, where they have desk space and our same pencils available for you there, uh, so you can continue working on your drawings down there. But if you plan on joining us for more classes today, we ask that you exit along with everyone else and line up in your Alright guys, let's see, if you followed along, share. This is probably my, uh, the one I like the least. It's interesting to hear the different, the different techniques from, uh, from one uh, artist to the other. Thank you. Because I felt this artist uh, taught it a little bit different. At least comparing it to uh, Donald. So let's uh, see if we can find a spot around here. Stop in the corner over here. What's up, Jude? Welcome in. Let me see here. You need this. Is they have Marvel or Star Wars characters being drawn there? Um. Today I don't know if they have a lot. Let me see. But they do from time to time. They do got. Actually, today it doesn't seem like it. 
Because they've had Grogu. Today they don't have Grogu at all. There's a bunch of Pixar. Yeah, I took, I took a picture of it. Matt says, tip for you if you don't see your notifications. Go to no notification settings, make sure the subscriptions, notifications is on. I turned it on and now I'm seeing notification. Hope that helps. Oh, cool. Thanks, Matt, for that tip. Steeler says, I love Animation Academy. That's cool. It's fun in there. Uh, let me see. What's up, Dan? Dan Hover says, short day at the office. Now spend the afternoon on the stream with you in the park. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Dan. Hello to Don. Susan S., welcome. Uh, let's see. Sorry if I missed any guys, any uh, any chats. Kai, Javier whispers, good. <laughs> Cosmo Daisy's so cute. Jude says, hello, Javier. Hello, Jude. Jude says, time to share your art. Uh, all right, let me look, see who shared. We got Matt over here. <laughs> I love the bow and the heart eyes. That's awesome. Great job, Matt. That's so cool. How do I? The great Cristalini. That's cool. Good job. Yeah, I like your bow. And your lashes. Those are nice lashes. Let's see you guys uh, share. Let's see, I don't see any other ones. <clears throat> we got JT says oopsie ran out of room that's a big bowl that's really nice good job Cosmo says great drawings everyone I hear some more coming through we got mystery guests Again, with the awesome shading. Good job. Blue 22, wow. <laughs> uh, blue 22, are you one of the, the artists here? That is amazing. Now I definitely don't want to show mine. Good job. Oh, Marines are super cute. <laughs> She's thinking about Donald. About Donaldo. I like the the necklace too. Good job, Marine.
All right, let's see. I think that's it. I'll keep an eye out for more. But let me show you mine. <laughs> let me show you mine from a distance. It looks better from far away. See, like, like, like that, I think it looks the best. <laughs> Fernando Angeles, welcome in. That was fun. Hold on, let me put this. Uh... Cosmo, we'll catch you later. Thank you for, for hanging out with us. Let's see, uh, let's see, Cosmo says, off to work I go. I will continue my listening watching. Everyone have a wonderful day. Thank you, Cosmo. Have a great day at work. Elastic Girl says, amazing drawings. Okay. Let me plug the phone back in. Uh, Joanna Guzman, welcome. Says your hat is nice. Love the color. Thank you, Joanna. Cosmo says Daisy's so cute. I like how sassy Daisy is. Just like Clarabelle. Steeler says I followed along. I drew Daisy. Are you going to share, Steeler, so we can show it? Andrew Chanel, welcome, says Javier. Can we do the Columbia when we cross over to Disneyland? Mm. Okay. I was going to do... Uh, what's this thing? PhilharMagic. Well, let's do PhilharMagic. We're here. And then we'll cross over. Doom says, hi. <laughs> Great work, everyone. Three minutes until showtime. Three minutes until my piece of art. Hello. Here we go. Thank you. Noreen says she looks beautiful, Javier. Seven out of seven. <laughs> Thank you, Jude. Annette says, good job. Oh. <laughs> Noreen says, why am I sweating right now after drawing? <laughs> Says, feel her magic. 
Welcome in, ready through that song. you coming in, thanks for filling in all the available seats. And all of you going out, thanks for making the seats available. <laughs> Fernando, you gotta catch this show. It's uh, it's my one of my favorite things. Hello, everyone. My name is Charles, and welcome to Mickey's Fill Our Magic. Just a friendly reminder: during our performance, you start feeling a little goopy. You need to duck out early. Go ahead and use these doors here on the right. That's the right hand side only. Also, putting on those opera glasses, our grand matron Minnie Mouse will let us know when it's time to do so. Thank you. Okay, sit back and relax and enjoy Mickey's Fill Our Magic. It is with D. 
deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. And now, the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, sherry, and we provide the rest. Soup du jour, hot or dirt. Why, we only need to serve. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me, ask the dishes. <laughs>
Remember, for those of you that are uh, Disney Chase card holders, there is a photo op which has moved to this side over here. It used to be behind the Hollywood Lounge, but now it's over here. Exclusive photo experience from 10:30 to 1:30. All right, let's go ahead and cross over, guys. See if we can get on the Columbia. Shaquille, welcome in. Thank you for joining. Doom says, did feel her magic in real life for the first time last week and had no idea there were 4D elements. Yes. Uh, today we were sitting, of all the days when it's a little bit uh, chilly, we were sitting in front of one of the, I guess one of the little water jets. So we kept getting sprayed. You see a lot of people like, <laughs> not prepared for the cold. Sealer says, I love Sorcerer Mickey. He is my favorite. We love watching this when we are there. Reggie just says, too hard not to sing along. Elastic Girl says, the Little Mermaid and Aladdin singing parts remind me of my sister we lost a few years ago. Oh, Elastic Girl, I'm so sorry for your loss. Let's go through the store. Hey, they got a Dumbo shirt. Oh, wait, did we show this? I think we did show this. There she go. <laughs> yeah, with the Muppets as well. These are sixty four ninety nine. So they still don't have the stitch. Anthony G says, oh boy, almost the same thing as Opus. <laughs>
Elasa girl. So nobody clapped. We clap when we're there. Deborah says, uh, just made me cry even more. My heart is in my throat. So sorry for your loss, Elasa girl, but I completely understand what you're going through when you hear songs from Disney. Sending virtual hugs. Thank you, Deborah. Princess Rose says, I am back. I had to do a quick errand. Welcome back, Princess Rose. Christopher Chavez, welcome. Sandra Chanel says, yeah, hopefully we can get on the Columbia. We'll try. Darth uh, G, welcome. Says hello. Hola, everybody. TGIF. Welcome in. Marion says, shop, shop, shop. Drink, drink, drink. Coffee. Perfect Friday. <laughs> That's a lot of coffee. We're gonna try to do Columbia, and then we're probably gonna sign off for a little bit come back for the parade. <laughs> Gotta make sure we don't uh, fall asleep. Oh, hey, no, no, you're good. You're good. We're all going to the same place. Go ahead. You go ahead. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> above the park. I know a lot of times it seems like it's nearby, but it might not be. That one is for sure above us. Anthony G says that Muppet shirt, fire though. Marine says, Disney is really the soundtrack of our lives when you think about it. It's beautiful. It is. And yeah, there's Donald. There's Goofy. Ah, he was about to walk into a pole. Oh, I think Donald. Oh, is Donald done? No. Oh, we got to focus. <laughs> We're going to Colombia. Here's Chip. Oh. Where's Dale? There's Mickey's over there. Mickey has a long line. It doesn't seem too crowded over here. Wow, I want to say DCA feels uh, busier. I haven't checked the wait time, so I could be mistaken. Gil, welcome. So yeah, this is a perfect time to be at Disneyland DCA because of the weather. I agree. Actually, I probably would have uh, I would probably say you need a, a 
a light sweater. You're like, what? Who am I? Dar says, hi, y'all. We back at it today. Did Javier go on Grizz today too? No, just yesterday. That was enough. Has anybody seen my gal? Man, the Dapper Dance have a big crowd, though. That's awesome. Better says, do something that makes you smile today. Grab a snack, etc. Just have a good time today. Happy weekend, positive vibes, warm hugs, everybody. Thank you, Better. That's a great reminder. Lisa Kim said, oh, are you guys really getting really close to Disneyland? We are. We're like maybe 15, 20 minutes away. Heidi D says, you need to relax for a bit. Get a cold brew with some Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> we might need to. We're definitely going to need caffeine for the afternoon. Island production. So loving Disneyland. So much fun. Yay. It was a pleasure meeting you and your family. Again, enjoy your stay. Have fun. Pasta says, I prefer overcast to anything over 72. Me too. <clears throat> I wouldn't even be mentioning anything here. I don't know why I didn't grab my, my light jacket. And I saw it, but I just didn't think about it. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Says, can we see magic bands at some point today? Yes. Probably uh during the second string. So I want to see if there are any new ones for the season of the fourth. Actually, do we know is the Columbia out? I'm gonna peek around the corner a little bit to see if it's if it's even out. it might be docked. Maxi says it's hot here. There was says, Javier, you put it out in the universe. Now there's gonna be a whole bunch of people. Oh no. <laughs> Says those voices that will perk you up. Maureen says, Have yours manifesting the people? -y. Oh, bless. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Columbia is not dark. Cool. over here let's not upset them we'll go the long way 
Marco Granado says, Burger Boy is back. <laughs> the Triple B, Burger Boy back. Wait, is the band coming? It's kind of late for the band. Columbia is up. Yeah, okay, great. Thank you. But, oh, I was going to say hi to Captain Roberto real quick. Good, how are you? Good to see you. We got the captain over here. Jesus AZ Wildcat welcome says good afternoon Javier Angeles hi everyone welcome in Jesus excuse me Rosario Jiménez dice, Feliz Viernes, Señor Javier. Bendiciones para usted y Celeste. Gracias, Rosario. Bienvenida. Gracias uh, por acompañarnos. Deborah says, Javier, we're eating lunch. I forgot to get something to drink, and you got my daughter to say, oh, pues. <laughs> I love it. We got Marine saying, oh, pues, at home. It was awesome. Pastor says Columbia is running till 4 p.m. today. Beta says I have to get ready. See y'all later. Uh, date night for the hubby and I. Oh, that's awesome, Beta. Have fun. You kids have fun and behave. <laughs> and get home at a decent hour. <laughs> Gail Gatlin, welcome in. Dave says, <laughs> Abby, you're getting on the happy birthday boat. No, we missed the, we missed the birthday boat. Mouse Ears Raider says, Abby, I just finished last night's show and felt so bad for you laying around in your raft. I swear I was screaming. Pirate of the Caribbean to you over and over. <laughs> it was crazy. I don't know if, because the boat wasn't that full, but I really was getting tossed around. So here comes the Columbia guys. I always tell you, my suggestion is as soon as you get on, explore the the lower deck, go through that. You can easily, you know, go through it and and come back up right as you're starting to take off. That way you get to see the lower deck and then you can enjoy the scenic views. Miss Anime Sage Games, Vietnam. welcome. Says hello, I miss you both last after day. I know. The world. So, so sorry. Crew, and we hope you'll be sailing with us again soon. All hands, prepare to go ashore. This will be perfect timing because then at 2.30 we'll leave and then we'll go to the story hour. What were we? The, well, did we show up? Did we get here late or leave early? I swear, all the days are a blur to me now at this point.
Miss Anime says, I was late. Oh, okay. Madison Rice, thank you for subscribing. No, no, you're good, Miss Anime. We'll still say it's, it was it was us. We left too early. This anime says, I was supposed to meet up with people at 1 p.m. What's up, Johnny? Welcome in. Says hi, Javier, and peace. Happy Friday. <laughs> Murray. Uh, darn cactus. Again, I would kick it if it wouldn't hurt. Anime says, so what time are you staying today? Um, I'm not sure. It's going to depend on Celeste. I'm thinking that for sure probably till at least 8 or 9. Because I know Celeste has to work uh, in the morning. Marco says, I would kick it if it didn't hurt. <laughs> what a mood. <laughs> Uh, Miss Anna said, I'm going tonight around 7. Oh, okay. We should be here, I'm thinking. Laser says, the Great Columbia. Miss Anna says, tomorrow I'm trying to catch Baymax for my outfit. Oh, that's cool. What's up, Oso? <laughs> there you go. anime says I've never seen Baymax oh wow okay that's a cool uh, meet and greet
Uso says, I won't even say it, but we don't know what day it is. Hello. Look at those guys who paddle out of canoe. We could do that, though. This anime says, seems like a lovely day. It is. Wait, why are they lowering the flag? Or are they fixing it? Tiffany Johnson, welcome in. Says, uh, hi everyone, it's my birthday today. Is it, Tiffany? Happy birthday. Hope you're having a magical day. Hope you're having fun. And remember, make sure you eat lots of cake. Guys, can we drop the birthday cakes in the chat for somebody who's actually having a birthday today? Are they loaded in there? All right, so I can't believe all the radio is up again to do for a Well, this sure took a long time. It's going to make the Mark Twain have to stop over there for a bit. Whatever falls overboard will stay overboard because none of us know how to swim. Before we make sail, you should know that we have a few rules upon this ship. For a safe voyage, there may be no sitting on the outside rail or placing of young sailors upon them. And the young ones must be watched a lot of people at went all down. times. The waters be cold and deep, and our crew cannot swim a stroke. So whosoever falls Mind overboard I had. will be staying overboard. And it will be duly noted in the ship's log, lost at sea. Since this is a fine wooden ship, you may not smoke or be I guess we'll go this way. We'll normally go the other way, but it seems like on board the majority the of the people came this way. Eye of the you have all the quarters, mate's cabin, the surgeon. It's kind of hard to see through the um, steward's quarters. They got the pantry, captain's quarters. Which is the biggest area over here? The maps. First mate. It's funny how in size they get smaller or bigger depending on on who they are. Sick bay. Probably the smallest area. You got the swords. There's one missing. So you could spend a lot of time down here looking through all these doors. This is the kitchen area. Dry stores. Here's dinner.
I'm, <laughs> I'm actually pleasantly surprised that there's a lot of people down here. Because a lot of times when I come and I go down, there's maybe like one or two other groups down there. I feel like a lot. Watch up with the spanker. Unfurl the spirit sail. All hands, ease the weather braces. We sail a true course south by southwest. I'm not busy because you don't see the long lines from uh, pirates where they usually have been way too over here. I don't even think it's going up the bridge. What's the wait time for that? I gotta say it's like 15 minutes. Twenty minutes. Oh, there's red over there. Ahoy, shipmates! We're just clearing the busy port of New Orleans and beginning our journey into the great American wilderness. Our vessel for this voyage is the proud sailing ship Columbia, the first American ship to carry the stars and stripes around the world. She's a 10-gun, three-masted merchant ship. It was back in 1787 that she first set sail from Boston Harbor. All the way around the horn. Newsy, are you here? Onward to the Pacific Northwest, Hawaii, and China. In the three years it took us to make that journey, the Columbia was more than just a ship to us. She was our life and our home. For the midships is the main hatchway leading below decks, where you may see how we lived and worked on the high seas. The galley, captain, and crew's quarters are open for your inspection. For the rest of you, we invite you to stay up on deck, feel the wind in your face, and experience the wonders of this land we now know as America. Like who's at the helm? Here are those fig trees. Why does that tree have a round ship base? Columbia was one of the first American vessels to explore the Pacific Northwest. It was in 1792 that this very ship braved the sandbar and discovered a mighty river, which we named the Columbia, after the first ship to sail the waters. That looks nice.
no signs of splash. I don't fall over, it's just real water, it's still drown. Just oh, ahead is the most the treacherous train. part of our journey. Over. That island off the starboard side often hides the scourge of the seas. Bloodthirsty pirates. <laughs> they sometimes lie in wait to attack a passing ship such as ours and steal its bounty. Bowman, man the starboard foxhole cannon and prepare to fire a warning shot. So as any curious pirates hide near the shore, we'll know we are well armed. There's Those of you around the cannon best be stepping back. Way back. For the cannon, she be a mic loud, and the gunner's aim be a mic poor. Make ready to fire one! Fire one! Now, that should put some fear in them. Looks like we're safe for now. But I ask our crew and passengers to keep a weather eye out. We're passing through the, the hood the portion of uh, above this the oceans side. of America. <laughs> and that's the girl says the canoes are waiting for you. Today would have been the day. When we travel this far up river, our ship often draws the attention of the local tribes. Look, look there. The chief has given us a sign of peace, which means we will be granted safe passage. Warren says Javier's dying to do the one-handed paddle. Just ahead, a tribe of Plains Indians has set up camp by the river. Since they have no written language, tribal leaders like that wise shaman on the bluff over there pass down their wisdom and knowledge through stories and songs. During our voyages, we sometimes stop to barter and trade with these local tribes. Villages like this one have helped many an explorer learn how to survive in this vast frontier. 
Hey, there's a turtle again. There's two of them. I don't know where the other one's at. Well, crew, it is time we be setting sail for home. Hold taut the flying jib. Brace for a starboard tech. Cook and helpers stand by the pots. Shipmates, if you haven't done so, it is a good time to visit the crew's quarters below decks to see how sailors of the 1790s lived and worked while on the high seas. The lower decks will be closing when we enter port. Those of you remaining on deck, keep a close eye on the riverbanks where you may be able to see moose, elk, and other wildlife. I guess we're waiting on the Mark Twain now. <laughs> Richard says, Javier found Jack Sparrow and did nothing to help him. You found Jack, Javier. You're redeemed. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Neasy. What's up, Chris Pemberton? Welcome. Says, Happy Friday, everyone. I hope everyone has an incredible weekend. Make it a great day. Thank you, my friend. Happy Friday to you and Karen. Maureen says, Red was arm dancing. I saw her. It's definitely a thing. Richie says, Javier, I just ordered my Mickey and Friends backpack. Nice. Wait, the one with all the, the squares? Elastigirl says, Jack Sparrow is so loud, we heard him from far away. <laughs> Tiffany says, they're working on it. Pasta says, fake trees and cookies that way, that away. Warren says, that's a whole bunch of green. It is. And Alicia says, I really should have yelled, I need you, I needed you yesterday. <laughs> that's funny. Tiffany says, Harry, do you think it will be open in September? I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say because who knows how they're doing inside. Jude says, there's a long line for the canoes. <laughs> Fernando says, I only went on the canoes once in my life as a kid, too. Never have I got on those ever again to this day. I don't mind the the rolling the or paddling part. I just don't like to do it when the sun is out. That's why I said today would have been a good day. But I'm trying to uh, Cove, a of dark to take a, a quick break and, and to help charge some of my stuff. We'd best be sailing past this cove if we go to, to do that, we won't have time to take a break. So maybe... I promise you guys, if it's available, if it's not sunny like it's not supposed to be this weekend, um, I'll do it open. I'll do that for you guys. Jude says the hood part. <laughs> There's a hood wherever you go. Suzanne A. Welcome says, feels like I'm there. Thank you. Thank you for being here. 
Gen 8 says, when I was a kid, my parents would always say that the canoe ride was close. Now I'm wondering if it was really close or if they just didn't want to ride them. That's funny. They were so right about the canoes. I have never been on those either. My parents said the same thing. Nice to go, says Turtles. People watching. Jimmy Brownette, welcome. We're going to say, look at the duck just sitting there on that moose. And I say, as a kid, I was being pushed by the cast member to keep paddling, paddle stroking when I was too tired to do so. So I'm sure that's why when you were all kids too, your parents didn't want to go on them. Fancy, oh, welcome in, Fancy. says, hi, everyone. Stand by to go ashore. Jen says, well, man, at least I know I wasn't the, the only ropes. one whose parents were lying about the canoe. Well, the I would lie to my kids in a heartbeat. Down <laughs> with the flying jeep. When they wanted to the go, I'm like, uh-uh. Stand by all lines. Stand by the bow line. It's closed. Side. Let go the bow anchor. Let go the cage. Even if they pointed out the canoe out of the water, really, no, no. Been a pleasure serving with Those are cast members in training. The first ship Chris says, are you going to be the there this Sunday? We should be, Chris. The world. You've been a fine crew. And we hope you'll be sailing Richard with says, us again Yes, I got the same backpack you have. Nice. You're going to like it. Hands. It's very Prepare spacious. To go ashore. And last the girl says, my mom didn't have to lie to me about the canoes. We never cared for them. My sisters and I were only interested in the rides. Maureen says, growing up, my parents told us Bush Gardens was closed, and we only went to Colonial Williamsburg. My hubby went, and his parents told them the opposite, to each his own. <laughs> And last to go, so cast members in training. <laughs> oh, I was saying if they saw, if they pointed out that the canoes were working and they're like, but they're out in the water. And like, oh, see, that all there is members in training. Now this is one good canoe. Like look, even the little toddlers are paddling. That's the group I want to be in. got to give it up to the cast members for the canoe. Yeah, today is not so bad because it's it's not sunny at all. So, but it's funny to see, yeah, the canoes when they're coming around this bend right here. Um, they're not always happy. You can see everybody all hot, no smiles. Right now, that was a good canoe. It seems like there's a bench missing from over here. This is the area we point out, guys, on the island, that they have these tables. It's a nice place to come and have a, a picnic. You know, you can get your food to go, whether you get it from Tiana's Palace, Rancho del Zócalo. Uh, you can get your plates to go and then just come over here. Or you can bring a sandwich. We bring sandwiches from Subway or uh, Jersey Mike's and just come over there, which is perfect days like these, all right, all or when it's uh, right, in the afternoon that the sun is board. being blocked by the trees, because it can get really sunny right there. And there's restrooms right here. This is restroom. For my crew exiting, please stick to the far right as possible, far right hand side as possible as you can. We have two way traffic coming up the brow. Fancy says, I read the I rode the canoes and I was so tired after. That means you put effort into it, so I'm very proud of you. Well, 
Welcome aboard my new crew. Please watch your step as you make way through the brown Now, Columbia, we have two very important rules. Have you been on the canoe one, do not touch or play with the black and you don't end up tired the after ship. it? Then <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Later on our journey. You well, didn't put the necessary the effort. Jen says this canoe, the canoe cast members must have some buff arms. They also, they always have the best uh, energy too. Welcome aboard, crew. This be the captain speaking. Before we make sail, you should know that we have a few rules. I don't remember them loading us before we unloaded. What's there up, Elba no Kelly? Welcome to the Hello, Sunless in the chat. How are you and everyone? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. must be watched at all times. The waters be cold and deep, and our crew cannot swim a stroke. So whosoever falls overboard will be staying overboard, and it will be duly noted in the ship's log, lost at sea. <laughs> Since this is a fine wooden ship, I don't want to be lost at sea. starting any on-deck fires. The only fire permitted on board is in the galley, under the watchful eye of the cook. Atención, marineros. Para que tengan un viaje seguro, no se sienten ni sienten a sus hijos en las barandillas exteriores. Asegúrense de vigilar a sus hijos y absténganse de fumar. Gracias. Thank you. Now look lively, mates, for we are sailing with the tide. And the tide waits for Francis, it looks like rain clouds. We're supposed to get rain tomorrow and possibly Sunday, but they keep saying it's it's not supposed to be like a major system, that there actually might be areas that don't even get any rain, that it'll be sunny. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that that'll be us. Maybe, I don't mind the clouds. I know Celeste would like the sun, but... As long as it's not raining. But even if it is, we'll be here, guys. With our shorts on. says thanks for supporting the stream oh. small world says yes I'm with Celeste please no rain for our trip last girl says I feel bad for streamers streaming during the hot weather summer gets too hot it does all right guys we're gonna go ahead and take a little break for right now my leg is cramping up. We're going to take a little break for right now, guys. Uh, we will be back for the parade, so I am going to schedule that. But thank you. Thank you to all the new subscribers, all the OGs. Thank you, Crazy Crew members. Um, thank you for any of the super chats, the tips. Thank you, guys. Mods, thank you. Thank you for everything that you do. Again, we will be back shortly for the, for the first parade. We're going to charge up some stuff, then find a spot, get a good spot for you guys. So thank you, everybody. Come back for that stream. Make sure you have your notifications turned on. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Love you guys. Everybody get a snack. Guys, love you guys. Where is... That's why I'm like an amateur over here. <laughs> Bye, guys.